Hello. Are we live? Yes, We're live now. Good evening, everyone, and welcome. This is Twist Gaming, where you get to play board games with us. This evening is our weekly spotlight stream where we like to show off games that are coming out into the industry, uh, possibly currently live on Kickstarter, like this evening's game, Chariots of Rome by Victory Point Games. We're super excited to be showing that off. Mm -hmm. And as a reminder, they are the sponsor for this stream and all of this week's stream, so check them out live on Kickstarter now. Uh, but first, who are we? I'm Matt. I'm Anne. I'm Josh. And I'm Twitch Proxy, which means you guys get to play with us. And I help you control the board. And we are joined with Alan from Victory Point Games. Hi, Alan. Alan's on a long delay. <laughs> <laughs> you should still hear us through Skype. So you should hear us so you, live. So you should hear us. You're going to get a little bit of visual delay, though. <laughs> okay, so uh, we are. They're live on Kickstarter now. Mm -hmm. When did they go live? TP? Yesterday, I believe. Okay, very cool. So go check them out, guys, for that. Uh, Josh, do you want to explain? Uh, the game a little bit. Give us a little bit of a brief overview of it before we head into the in-depth ruley part. No, you normally that's what you do the special guest, but no, I'll do it. I mean... Oh. Alright, no, um, so this is a chariot racing game. So we all have a, a chariot. It's uh, Roman themed and the, the book actually does a really good job of putting the theme into it and saying everything. Um, but yeah, we're gonna, all going to be racing our chariots and try to be the last, either the last person standing or the first person to, to finish the race. Okay. So there is some player elimination possible um, if you don't do a good job uh, controlling your chariot. So you could get knocked out. So Alan, we always figure that the creators of the games are the best to describe the rules. Would you like to explain to us how, how to play? Again, I want a very long delay. <laughs> so if I could uh, type in the chat window, I'd probably pull a lot better. Well, you're... As you explain it, you're live right now. So you won't see it live, but you are speaking as we're speaking. So it's coming through to the audience at the same time. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you want a description of how to play the game? Yeah. Yeah. Anything right. you want to tell us about the game? <clears throat> Chariots of Rome. Uh, each player. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No. I think we lost him. We lost. We lost Alan. All right. Great. Oh, no, there he is. He's back now. He is back. All right. <laughs> Let me try the TV commercial. Like, <laughs> yeah. We can hear you now. Okay. <laughs> chariots of Rome. Each player is a charioteer, a chariot driver. Am I there or not? Yeah, you're there. Yeah, you're yeah, there. You're there. <laughs> okay. Let's try the first sentence again. <laughs> Okay. And you will pilot, will drive the chariot around the track two, three, up to seven times, depending on what you said at the beginning of the race or how long you want to ride. Okay. All right. So um, what, what happens in the race, during the race? Okay, that's in the affect. race you'll be managing your chariot. You have resources to manage. You have to manage your chariot's position on the track. Build and build the chariots. You have to manage the speed. You also have resources. You have your uh, horses fatigue their endurance. You have your tactics points to accumulate, taking corners and use to uh, attack and defend. You attack other chariots defending yourself. You also have rattle, which is the bad thing to have. It's like hits. Six rattle and it's all over for you. Your chariot broke, you spelled out on the track, and you better hope that you can cut the leather tie between you and your chariot if you're dragging all over the place. <laughs> um, so yeah, it, it, it's a resource management racing game. It's a classic racing game. Count the spaces, weave in and out. But in this one, you get to whip and ram people. It's, uh, you go. <laughs> that sounds like right up my alley. Fantastic. <laughs> okay, so Josh, how do we go about playing this game? All right, so Josh is our rules monkey for everyone just watching us for the first time here. So what, what uh, three horses do we have here? I have Faction Zadi. Okay. I have Faction Prosini. So Josh, go what do you faction have? Faction Abadi. Abadi. Come on, this is your Latin quiz, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the colors. This is my Latin's a little rusty. I do apologize. <laughs> All right, so. This is our initiative deck. 
So, Matt, can I have your card? Yes, you can. So we're going to shuffle these up. This is going to determine turn order. Okay. So uh, first up is me. So where do we start off? We start off over here on okay. these arrows. So, so yeah. I have... Start off on the arrow in spaces. I have this first. Here. Oh. And I got greening over here. So and this next up, can be off the board. and you're you're next. So where are do you want to place your horse? Store? The card the, can to yeah. show yes, the Yes, we'll use. So does it matter which row I choose? No. Not really. Not at the beginning of the race. It will all get scrambled up pretty quick. Okay. All right, and then Matt, you would be last. Thanks, I appreciate that. <laughs> so is that a uh, a permanent order, or does that change every round? Oh, uh, that it changes every, every round. round. Okay. So where? So let's show off uh, one of our character cards here. Uh, that's going to have a, f a little bit more information on it. So, is can you turn the camera on, TV? Give me one second. No problem. So as soon as she gets that up and running, we'll be able to show you guys the character card, and Josh will go over what exactly all of the numbers mean or the numerals mean. We'll go with that. So as you see, you have the name on the top. So I am the faction Rosati, or that's Anne rather. So there we have the status track. So Josh, what's the status track? Status track is going to keep track of all three of your main stats. So your stamina, your uh, tactic point, and your rattle. Okay. So your rattle is going to start at zero, so it's not going to start on the board. As you can see, when you get up to six on that board, uh, your rattle gets up to a point where you... Your chariot breaks. Your chariot breaks, yeah, and you're out of the race. Um, your tactics points is going to start at eight. Mm -hmm. You see the little symbol there. Uh, that's where your tactics start. That's the max you can have. Uh, and you use tactic points to do attacks and do other certain activities during the, the race. So like ramming the opponent, whipping the opponent. Yeah, you could use your tactics like point. Um, you could also try to make your horse go a little bit faster and gain a tactics point, tactics point or lose a tactics point for it. Uh, same thing with endurance. If you make your horse go faster, you're going to use some endurance and stuff like that. So you could edge your horse forward and possibly lose either a tactics or an endurance. Your choice? Yes, for that. So okay. I'll talk about that in a second. Uh, so that's the main board. Um, on the bottom there is the laps completed, so it just keeps a track of how many laps you've done. Okay. So if we say we're going to go to three laps, whoever hits that first wins. Perfect. Um, the other side of the card is going to be our speed part. So you have three speed levels in the game. Level one, you get to move, have a total movement of four spaces. And we all start at level one. And we're all going to start the race right. up at level one. Yeah, uh, out of the gate, you're at zero going up to level one. Yeah. Okay, so, we're so gonna, accelerating the first turn. Yeah, we're accelerating the first turn. Um, when you're at level one, since you're going a nice slow speed, you're going to get a tactics point and endurance back. So you're going to gain that. Okay. So you're not being heavy. You're not. You're being nice to the cherry and the horse. So you're going to kick it back, and you're also going to lose two rattles. So you know, you kind of yes, recover. Except on the first turn of the game, when you're going from zero to one, you don't get all those nice benefits. Sorry about that. No, that's fine. Just go for spaces. <laughs> yeah. So that's all you get. Um, at the beginning of every turn, you can either move or decrease your speed by one level. Okay. So you can go from level one to level two, which gives you seven speed. You still lose one rattle. That's normal chariot speed from what the rules say. Um, but you don't gain anything else. You just kind of you still lose one rattle, so you still are right there. And if you go all the way up to level three, you have a speed of ten, and you actually lose an endurance then. Okay, so you're really pushing to the limit there. If you wanted to, you could even go faster by edging your horse. Uh, what is it called? Riding hard? Uh, it's called hard driving hard or driving. chevying yeah. your horse. So, you Chevy your horses. Yes. So the Chevy your horse, you either spend a tactics point or endurance, and you get to roll this. It's basically a D3. Okay. It's got right. one, two, and three on it twice. It's on a D6. You roll that, whatever you roll, so I rolled a three here, you get to go three extra spaces. Okay. Um, so it's all based off what you roll on this die. So you get to go a little bit further uh, for that one point. Uh, so that's pretty much movement. Uh, thing is, though, once you start getting up to these curves, depending on how fast you take them, um, how fast you take these curves, they all have a speed rating on them of how and so safely. On, you so can, on the inside track, it's less movement to go around them. However, you can't be going as fast because of the laws of physics. Well, you, you can go as fast, but you might destroy your chariot in the meantime. Of course. Um, Correct. For each movement point you have more than the speed limit, you'll be drawing a card that may penalize you. Yes. 
So there's these action cards, so... And I would like to point out that on the innermost track, it is a four-speed maximum, and then it increases by one for each level that you go outwards, uh, all the way to the outermost position, which is a nine-speed. Um, inside track is only three spaces, though, whereas the outside track is eight spaces. Yeah. Uh, so this here is one of the action cards, and this is the bad stuff cards. Ooh, that is grainy. Move your fingers out, it might... Yeah, yeah, it's a little, little grain. So I'll read it for you guys. So actually, it looks like each of the action cards has a different effect based on when you get the action card. Yeah. So Correct. for example, this one here, if you get it from a whip, nothing happens. Uh, if you get it from a ram, you're going to lose an endurance. If you get it from a corner, not sure what that symbol That's going to be a swerve. That is the deadly swerve. Ooh. So what does that mean exactly, Alan? Uh, you change a lane away from the danger and go back half a space. Ooh, okay, so you're going to move uh, backwards diagonally, essentially. Yeah. Yes, away from the danger. Okay. And then danger on this one is you get a rattle. Yeah. So that's what happens. six rattle and you're gone. So... Thank you very much, TP, for fixing that for me. Mm -hmm. uh, and so each each action card is a little bit different. So, but if you go in here at full speed, and you're at ten, and this has a four, you're going to grab six action cards and have to resolve them. So you could very possibly yeah. destroy your card from the get. -go. Sure. The next six spaces, you're going to reveal one more of those six cards from that stack. So every space you show up one of these action cards. Oh, right. so it's yeah. each space that you go. Yeah. Oh, okay, that makes sense. So each space you go, you're going to resolve one of these. Um, right, it, it's time over distance, so you do one part per space. Yeah. Um, no, so your movement is you can either move forward or you can change lanes. When you're in a curve, you can change lanes, but only outwards. You can't. You can't go in. You can't go in. You can't get tighter. That makes yeah, sense. Yeah, you can't make your turn tighter. Um, Centrifugal force. Yeah. So that's that's it for movement. Um, how attacking works is during your. So you can't attack till the fourth round. Not the fourth lap, the fourth round. The fourth round, yes. Gotcha. Fourth round. Um, you can attack the two spaces to your left and to your right. However, not all the same actions apply, correct? Yeah. You can whip all four of them, or you can ram the two back ones. Okay. And as we saw in that one card, um, the actions are a little bit different based on if you whip or ram. It looks like yes. ram is a little bit more vicious from what I saw in yes. the first card. Yeah, most, uh, most, so a lot of the whips I see, they have no effect, where the ram typically does something. When you whip when someone... When you spend a tactics point to ram, your opponent will draw three cards, ram damage. You will draw one, ram damage. So there's a little bit of... Uh, a feedback. Feed back. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. So yeah, so you're... Of course, when you lash, there is no backlash. Yeah. They just draw three cards and get whipped. Um, so that's the action cards. Um, at the end of the fourth round, whoever's the first player... Actually, we're going to have Twitch do it, since we're doing a little interactive. They're going to roll this fate die. So TP, that's going to be exclamation point... Exclamation point fate. Oh, look at you all crap. Um, and there is four symbols on here. Uh, there is... Um, a wreath? A wreath, which is the uh, tactics. So everyone's going to gain a tactics that turn. There's the heart in the pot, which is the endurance. So everyone's going to gain an endurance when that's rolled. There's the starburst, which is the... The... Uh, rattle. Rattle. And you're gonna, everyone's going to lose a rattle. So it's all helpful. It's all helpful stuff. Okay. Um, and there's then there's three lightning bolts, which is going to be one of these fate cards, which is going to give a special scenario for the round. Mm -hmm. um, it might be immediate or it might be a lasting thing throughout the round. So it's like one of them was like nobody can make an attack this turn. Okay. And when do we roll those again? That's the beginning of every turn, starting on the fourth. Every uh, person. It's the turn. beginning oh. of the first player's turn. First player's okay. turn. Each round. Yeah, each round. Starting each round. round. Gotcha. Yeah. Thank okay. you, Alan. Thank you, Alan. Um, no problem. I played them. <laughs> yeah. It shows. Um, and then the other thing we didn't mention is the chariot cards, which, Alan, everyone gets one of these, right? Each gets a driver with a unique skill. Yes. Bring to the track. So, here, let's show off. No, I won't use pronounce that name. That, that's that's <laughs> what I have to do. Frugliferous? <laughs> I'll accept it. I'll okay. accept it. Uh, after concluding the first attack made against you each round, gain one tactics and lose one rattle. Uh, so he actually defends well against attacks, then, in other words. Yeah. Sounds like it. So there's a bunch of different drivers here. So um, we're going to each take one at random. 
And that's who we're going to be playing as. Ooh. Okay. So we've got our ponies, and now we got to get our drivers. Yep. Well, that art looks pretty nice, if I do say so. <laughs> so. Okay. okay, so, and who are you playing as? I'm going to be playing as Orion's. Orion's, and what is that, Anne? Orion's, immediately after attacking another chariot, you may move one additional space for free. Oh, this bonus space is not included when calculating cornering hazards, which oh. means I'm going to have to be playing very aggressively. Oh boy, that's You exciting. can only make one attack a turn, just so you know. Do I'm you playing know? as Zephyrus, and that is once per cornering stack, uh, after oh, you did something. After revealing an action card from it, you may discard that and redraw. The that redraws result applies instead. So if I don't like one of the action cards that I draw, I can say no. If if it's a corner, <laughs> and, and look yeah, you can take a few more chances on corners. Now you need to pronounce his name. Frigoliferous? I don't know. It's close, Josh. It's, it's the guy we picked that it, so I happened to randomly draw it. Josh is Frigoliferous. <laughs> yes. And they all actually have a little bit of a, a short description there. So Anne's is hit and run. I have swift as the, win swift as the wind. And Josh is begrudging. Which, which is, is very appropriate. <laughs> very appropriate. <laughs> all right. So you guys all have this. Um, no, they are, is a little start counter. Okay. So what you do is at the beginning of your turn, you put that where you were. Okay. And then you count. So if you keep... Saying, oh, I'm gonna oh, try this. I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try this. You, like you don't forget where you started. I like that a lot. So. Exactly. We have a lot of those players who forget where they started and somehow end up 25 spaces down the track. <laughs> Hi, man. Hi. Okay, so. so we all start at speed level zero. We all start at uh, 12 endurance and we all start at 8 TP. I'm copying your. It says on the card 8 TP. It says TP. Yay. That's, that's good. Uh, so. No, you don't start with 8 TP. No uh, tactics points. That's your maximum. Oh, okay. You start with uh, one per player. One per player. Ah, okay. Okay. Thank you, Alan. So one, two, three. So you start with three tactics. Oh, good, good, good job, man. Pew. On the upside, you gain tactics points going around each corner. Okay. All right. So and then we have our rattle starts off the board for now. Okay. Uh, we have our lap counter starts at zero, and then our speed count, our speed level is not on our map yet because we're technically not moving yet. So as soon as you start moving, you put it on speed level one, and that's going to be your change in your speed level on your first turn. That makes sense. Um, a couple notes: you can spend tactics to make an attack, to draw fewer action cards. Oh, okay. Or to prevent right, endurance. Right. If you have action cards to draw, you can blow a tactics. To not draw one of those cards. Oh, that's this handy. is really useful when you are in danger. Okay. So I've I've got a question there. Um, <coughs> with my ability, if do you draw the tactics cards first and then spend attack? Uh, I'm sorry. Do you draw the action cards first and then spend the tactics to get rid of them, or you just have to do that before they're drawn? Well, you can draw them and spend the tactics before they are revealed. So, oh, before they're revealed. Yeah, because okay. you're going to get a pile, and then right. every space you move, you're going to flip over. Yeah, often action. you'll have a little stack of these, and it's like, okay, well, I'm holding certain death in my hand. I better spend a tactics points and put it back on the deck, you know? Okay, that makes sense. So, All right. uh, I think it's time for us to start now, or is there anything else that we need to clear up on the rules? Right? I'm going to be asking questions throughout this entire game. Well, that's good, because then it won't make me look bad. I'll just pretend <laughs> that I know what's going on and piggyback <laughs> off of your questions. Well, isn't that how it usually goes, though? It is. I just, you know, Anne makes me look better. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, Caesar has taken his seat. The trumpets are blaring, and a quarter million fans are ready to throw things at you. <laughs> <laughs> It sounds like whenever we're on the front page of Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully it's food, because I'm hungry. And I really just want to give a shout out to Sean Young, who's in the chat right now. He is the designer of the game. Oh, Hi, fantastic. Sean. Hey, Sean. Sean! <laughs> but cheers. All right. So, shuffle this initiative, and uh, first round, it's going to be me. Of course. I'm so He just happened that. to shuffle himself on the of top. Of course he did. So I'm going to gain a tactics, because that's the one thing I do get. And I move four spaces. Right, so you would gain a tactics, gain an endurance, and lose two rattle, but you're at max endurance and zero rattle. Yes. And that's, that's the end of my turn. Okay. So next up is uh, Anne. Okay. Oh, not me. So 
this my speed goes up to level one. Yep. So that means my speed is four. Yes. So now, actually, I'm going to put this. Well, you have to decide before you move whether or not you want to risk your horses to roll the tri die and get a little extra speed. Yes. Oh. So, so you can spend one of your endurance to roll the the die to see if you want to get some extra speed. Okay. So I... that gets resolved first before you start moving. So theoretically, you can roll it and then immediately gain one back because of your speed level. No, you don't gain anything on the first turn because hey, you just okay. started. You don't. Okay, okay. that okay. makes sense. So I don't gain that tactics yet. So then I, so the, since this is my first turn, uh, can I, I generally roll the try die out the gate and try and get it in a good position? Let's so. let's do it. So you're gonna spend one. Uh, okay, now you've got to use an endurance or a tactics. You could use a tactics instead. Of. That's your just your, your my choice. discretion. Yeah, I already I, push you down on the endurance. You got a lot of endurance. Yeah. Okay, so I'm I'm gonna use the endurance. I'm gonna roll my die. A three. Nice. A three. So you get to move seven nice. spaces. Ah. What happens if I roll if I had rolled a one or a two? And then you would have moved either one or two spaces in addition to your four spaces. Yes. Oh. Okay. So it's four plus whatever you rolled. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. TP, did you put a contest up to see who's gonna win? I can do that. Ooh. So I'm gonna take my start token back. I do not have any rattle. My tactics tactics are still three because you don't get any on the first turn. My <laughs> endurance is now uh, eleven. 10, 11. Yep. Yeah. I can do my Roman numerals. Look at me. I'm a big girl. Uh, and this is still... This is lap one now? No, no. no this is still the... I haven't lapped the board. Cool. So that's my board. So that's the finish line. So once you go around and hit this that This is one. the finish line? Yes. Even though it's like a quarter of a lap? Well, have you ever seen a like a marathon when it starts? No. Or like a, a track race? You nope. start in the straightaway and you go around. And so the, the first lap is... A little uh, longer than the rest. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. All right, so it must be Matt's turn now. I would have left if it wasn't. If he was like, oh, Josh, like, oh, it's my turn again. Uh, so I'm going to do the same thing as Anne. I'm going to spend one of my endurance, and I'm going to roll the, the die. Come on. Thanks, Anne. You're welcome. Uh, so, Josh, if you could Five please move forward. Move, yeah, directly forward. All right. And Let's... that is the end of my turn. I'm going to put my speed level on one now to signify, and good to go. All right. So... Anne, this is a little bit of a... Uh, side thing here. Do you know what your age is in Roman numerals? No. Well, 10 is X. Yeah, but it's not three X's, is it? Yes. And triple X? Yes. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so first up, I... Josh is going first again. Good I'm going to increase Josh. my speed. Of course you are. And I'm going to roll the die. I got two. So yeah. I'm moving uh, nine. All my pieces. One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, how do you attack again? You can't attack till the fourth round. Okay, so then I will add, don't answer that question now. When the fourth round comes around, I'm going to ask that question Okay. Again. Okay. <laughs> and the reason you can't attack until the fourth round is not because we're playing nice with you guys. <laughs> it's because historically chariot races were started over if they came out too violent, too hard, too fast. Oh, really? Yeah. I That's really I, cool. I love the thought that goes into the things like that. It makes right. me so happy. Did so you show that? Your Sean Young has done his homework. There's a lot of historiosity in this simple game. That makes me That's so awesome. happy. That's awesome. The rulebook's really cool about that. There's a lot of historical things and terms and stuff in the rulebook. Really? Yes. It may might make me not hate rulebooks. Yeah. Okay. So, it's your turn again, Anne. It's I'm your turn again, Anne. I'm going to spend another endurance. Which, no, I'm just making. Are you increasing your speed or so, staying? Yeah, up would you like to stay at four speed or go up to seven? Uh, I'm sorry, level one or level two. So what's the difference between level one and level two? So level one gives you four movement, speed. and level two gives you seven movement. However, with level one, since you're at a nice relaxed pace, you lose two rattle, you gain one endurance, and you gain one uh, tactics point. So since I was already at level one, then should I have? No, because no, we don't get on the first, first one. So if I stay at level one, then that's when I gain the endurance and gain the tactics. The tactics. 
Right, but punch it, Chewy. Hit level two. <laughs> <laughs> I have to listen to Alan. I'm going to level two. Yeah, do you want to shimmy your horses and try and pick up some extra steam with the tri that, That's what she did, and she rolled a one. <sighs> oh, no. Roll so. better, Ann. Roll one, better. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. You know, you can't teach die roll. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, so it means it's uh, Matt's turn. Um, I'm going to switch this card out eventually, just so it's not your turn. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to stay at level one, but I'm going to use the tri Okay. Okay. So... It's Ooh. two, so that my endurance is going to stay the same. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to move right. five spaces, but my tactics points go up by one. Why is your endurance staying the same? Because I use one endurance to roll the try die, but then I gain it back because I stayed at level one. You gain it at Correct. the end of your turn or the beginning of the next turn? You gain it on this turn. He would spend one before rolling the die and then gain one back, I believe, for staying at a slow speed. Yeah. yeah okay. Sean Michael. Okay. So. The details. Perfect. All right. Josh gonna shuffle better this time. Uh, maybe I don't know. All right. Who goes so first, Josh? First, it's me. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna up myself to level three. And I'm gonna spend another endurance. Well, Josh is gonna go flying. Uh, so I got twelve movement. One, two, three. Four, five, six. You may want to help him. Can you? Seven, Seven eight, eight, nine, tracks? ten, eleven, twelve. Yes, right there. Okay. Why did you? Come because my track? he went over into your lane. It looks like so he's going to take the outside ring so he can keep the speed up. Yeah. However, you also reduce your endurance by another one yep. because you are level three. Yep. And ah, uh, okay. I was just going to grab the die because I figured. Because Josh is so good at <laughs> shuffling. Um, oh, never mind. Brace yourself for that first quarter. Okay. So you're staying at the same speed? I'm going to... No, I'm going to punch it. Let's go. Level three. So are you using the tri Looks like you are. Yes, I'll be using the tri so I'm going to lose an endurance. You're going to lose two endurance because of level three also. Nine. But I lose it at the end. I was doing it in order. Yeah. Okay. Don't don't listen to Josh. Okay. He's doing it wrong. Okay. <laughs> three. Oh, jeez. Okay. So you're gonna make thirteen, 13 one, spaces. One, two. Let me use my start token for this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You're a jerk. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Now she's going faster than the corner right now. She no? is going faster than the corner, and she also went through me, which means she would have to grab an action card for that. Oh, okay. All right, so we got two things that happened. So she draws an action card for hitting you, and then because she moved 13 in the outside corners 9, she's going to draw four additional tactics cards. Is that correct, Alan? Okay. Uh, sh- let me advise her to cut in one lane and go around you rather than yeah. take the danger for driving through you. Yes. Okay. <laughs> driving through you is always... Bad idea. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay. Now, what is the speed for that corner that you just entered? That's a speed of eight. And she's going how many? Thirteen. Thirteen. Do the math. That's five cards. That's a five card. Now so the first space can I, of the curve. She gets the five cards. The next five spaces, she reveals one, and then moves to the next space. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. So roll her back to the first space on the curve. She's okay. there, and she's holding five cards. Yes. When she moves to the second space, she reveals the first card, looks at cornering, and the gods will decide. All right, so Ooh. top card, so show off and so, card cam. Is card cam uh, up and running, TP? Okay. Sure thing. So, cornering is... You're going to swerve. Oh, no! <laughs> There's somebody there! What? So what do I okay, do with the so swerve? Forward to space. Oh, no. Okay, no, no, now you okay. cut back and to the right toward the outer wall. You can only go toward the outer wall in a corner because of centrifugal force. Okay. So you move the spot. So mm-hmm. as you then so, progress forward to the next one, the next card gets revealed. Correct. Now, I was on this spot, yes. so it's back and to the right? Yes. Okay. Yes. And how much movement does she have left? 
Uh, she has That's four a good cards. Question. That's why we have the starting marker. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So people don't 11. accidentally forget where they were. Yeah. Twelve. Well, Alan, quick that question. Quick question for you. For the swerve, does that count as one of your movement points or no? No, moving from there does. Okay. Okay. So this is your twelfth out of thirteen. That so, sounds about right. Yeah. This is a 12 movement out of 13. So yeah. what happened on this card? Uh, no effect. Forward. So you should And they draw up one more card. And so yeah, that's your final one, and then this is your next card that you do. And then on her next turn, she'll start by revealing the next two cards. Oof. Ooh, she got a danger. Uh, his pictures. Move the, just move the card cam into like the middle. No, I didn't do that. Oh, okay. So. On the corner. She's gonna get one she got rattle. A danger. I'm sorry, she's gonna get yeah, a rattle. rattle. Yeah. Okay, a rattle. So, yeah, that's, please, that's part of the question. so I have my rattle token and I place that on the one on my board. That yep. is correct. Okay. Correct. And so now, that is for the... all your chariot fans, when you have rattle and you go through a corner, it is if you are going one faster for each rattle because you can't focus on the corner and you're driving. You're rattled. Oh, like shaken. You're, yeah. you're, you're rattled. Oh, exactly. okay. So, in other words, uh, since you are in the outside track, it's got a movement of nine. If you are going nine spaces, but you have one rattle, they get added together. Your movement and your... So, in this case, if you stay on ten, yeah. you would be going one space faster, so you would draw an action card for that. But you'd also draw an additional action card because you add your rattle to that number as well. But you Correct. only do your cornering when you first come into the turn. So, Correct. Cornering so is always figured out on the first space of the corner. Oh, okay. So she can stay at 10 and keep going around, but she's oh, fine. Okay, gotcha. So she, she's got she her... can floor it now that she's yeah. on the corner. Okay, all so... Right. And that's uh, Matt's turn, yeah. who's all the way in behind. Wait! Oh. My endurance yeah. went down. Your endurance went down. Um, I'm going to... And you get a little start token back. Thank I'm going to stay at... No, I'm going to move up to speed 2 now. I'm going to use one of my endurance, and then I'm... Well, I'm going to... Roll first, I guess. Uh, uh, one. Uh, so I'm going to move eight spaces. So what are you thinking right now, Matt? Uh, I'm trying to catch up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So pretty unexciting because I rolled pretty horribly my first two turns with my endurance, and I stayed slow. Um, trying to catch up now so I don't fall too far behind because I don't want you guys to attack me. Now, the game has got some built-in come-from-behind mechanism. Because the first person out of the corner receives zero free tactics points. Every other person receives one, except the last person out of the corner receives two. So oh. the last person out of the corner, you get two tactics. Oh, so it speeds you up a little bit. Okay. And tactics is good stuff. Okay. Gotcha. All right. So that was the end of the third turn. So after this fourth turn is when we're going to be able to start attacking each other, correct? Nope. Right nope. now. Right. Oh, okay. At the beginning right now. of the fourth round... The whips are out. The axles are ready to ram. Go. I like right. it. As promised, I'm going to ask you, how do you do the attacking? Alan, you explain. Please. <laughs> you drive beside the chariot you wish to attack. Okay. So you pull up into a space next to it, half a space in front, or half a space behind. If you look at a chariot and you look at those four spaces... If you're in any of those four spaces next to a chariot, you can whip the guy. Only if okay. you are in the back two spaces can you ram the guy. Okay, the main you spend, instruction you spend book. tactics points and let the cards fall where they may. It's all resolved in that instant. The instruction booklet, um, the, the rules, has a really great diagram for making an attack. Ooh. So again, the whip is all four of the spaces around you, uh, to the left and right, and the opponent gets three action cards. Ram, they also get three action cards. It's only two spaces to the rear on either side, mm -hmm. and you also draw an action card. But Ram seems a little bit more deadly when it comes to the uh, actions themselves. So Matt, make That's sure you're aiming right. this space right here. Uh, why is that, Anne? So that I can ram into your chariot and murder you. Well, Yay! if Josh shuffles again, <laughs> we're going to keep the same turn order perpetually, it seems. <laughs> no, 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 just Matt's keep first. shuffling the oh. cards. Something will happen. So Matt's first. Okay, so uh, And we're going to roll the fate die this time. Or kind of. Why? It's the fourth turn, so the fate 
at Fate the beginning. Of the gods. Yes, Correct. The beginning. first player rolls the fate die for that round. We're going to have chat do it, though. Oh. TC, so can you have chat roll a fate die? Absolutely. That's exclamation point fate. Yep. <laughs> so chat, chat will deem what, what our fate is. All right, and the first person to roll that fate die after I put that in chat, they're going to be the one to decide. Oh, that's exciting. Uh, hopefully it's good. I didn't even consider... We get a fate card. Okay, so we get a fate card. What is the fate card? We got... Morris takes a holiday. Uh, this round, anything that would otherwise eliminate a charioteer does not occur. Ooh. Treat any such morbid events has no effect. So That's excellent. None of us get killed this round. Yeah, yeah, just so you know, Morris is the god of death. Yeah, oh. takes all. Okay. I love Greco-Roman art and history and culture. <laughs> it makes me so happy. So Matt, you're, you're first. I'm first. I'm going to stay at seven speed. I'm not going to roll my tri-die. Instead, I'm... You should go up to level three so you can get closer. So I put my start token here. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And thank you, Crickant, for subscribing. Ooh. Oh, wow. Thanks, Crickant. All right. And that's the end of my turn. He's taking the inside track. It's a short one. And it's your turn. Faction okay. Rusati. So I might as well go balls to the wall, right? <laughs> I mean, there you go. <laughs> yeah. I mean, go big or go home, go right? Go big or go home, because it doesn't matter. My speed isn't going to impact me any longer. Every, the first two spaces you move, you're going to have to do these. Okay. All right. So I'm going to stay at level three. So I'm going to lose an endurance. To roll the tri die. Two. So you got twelve movement. And then I'm gonna lose an endurance because I stayed at level three. The first okay. move that I'm let me put my start token down. Two scutcha scutcha scutcha. Alright, TP, can you Spectre. move out to the other corner? Yeah. Okay. Alright, so my first movement is this. Oh, so what happens here? And a corner. Uh, so she's already on the outermost track, Alan, and she got one of the corner swerves. What happens there? Okay. She has hit the wall. <laughs> well, we knew that. <laughs> <laughs> it's only the first corner, and she's hit the wall. That means she's brushed against the side of the track, and she must now draw a danger card. So draw a new card off the deck. Do not reveal it yet. Okay. Okay. And now, this is a good time to spend a tactics point to not have to face that danger. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alan, Alan says to do it, so I just spent a tactics point. I've gone from three to two. So now what do I do with this card that I drew for the danger? Put it back on the top of the deck. Nobody's Ooh. seen it. It's, it's still fair game. Okay. Back on the top. All right. So now I'm going to make another movement. I'm going to keep this here so I can remember that I have a total of 12 movement. Uh, this is my next step. I do my next. <laughs> okay, there. Just and right, that should be the last one. Corner. No effect! No effect. Congratulations, man. But look at the danger there. That was two, it, lose two, two endurance three. and the gain a rattle. I mean, but that was not the card that I, I know, drew. But, I'm just but just that how, I guess, big dangers, they are. That's how bad a danger can be. Yeah. Okay, so one, two, and now I get 10 more. One, two, three, four. Four. I don't get a tactics point because I'm the first one out of yeah. the corner. One, two, three, four, Correct. five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. Good job, Ann. Thanks. But the red team is the Roman Rocket, so. <laughs> and it's my turn. Um, I'm gonna move inside one track. I'll, I'll, I'm gonna lower my speed, and I'm gonna move inside one track and go around. Okay. You're not going so to you're do gonna something? go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And since my speed was lower than the speed rating, you don't have to draw anything. I don't have to draw anything. Um, you're nope, not out. Let's get rattle kicking around. Uh, you also don't draw. Any, you don't get any tactics points yet because you're not clear of the curve. No, oh, I gotta get one more spot to get clear of the yeah. curve. Uh, okay, so that is the end of this round. Yep. So we're gonna need another fate die to be rolled. TP. Uh, the new round order, new player. Yeah. And I'm gonna shuffle this up and see uh, who goes first. Hopefully, you keep up this randomization shuffle now, Josh. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. My turn! The red rocket for sure here. Uh, and we gotta see what our fate is. Um, Alright, one second. Rolling Roman. Yeah, the red Roman rocket. 
take you anywhere. <laughs> what did I do, Anne? What is our fate, Anne? Fate card. <laughs> so fate you like what's a little Power Ranger symbol? <laughs> <laughs> I do. Okay, <laughs> curses from the crowd. They're cursing no. at you, Anne. Uh, this round, at the end of each charioteer's driving step, he must draw one action card and resolve a danger result. <laughs> this is awful! Oh my goodness. I like the other one much more. So they're they're throwing Debris at us now, it seems like. Well, in those days, they would write curses on stones or bits of pottery and throw them at you. Oh, I've got new plans for you now. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Panda, do you go outside and get me a Sharpie and some rocks? So I can throw them at Matt. <laughs> All right. The modern equivalent. So, Anne, what are, you, what are you doing for your turn? I am going to reduce my speed, because I feel like I'm in a you good... Can, what? You can only reduce it by one. Okay. Yeah. Go back to speed one from three. So you're going to roll your fake die again? Or your try die? Um... I, considering my endurance level to your guys' endurance level... I think that I am not going to roll the try die just now. I feel like I've got a pretty good lead on Josh. You might want to pull up just short of the corner so you don't have to draw cards this turn. <laughs> yeah, extra turns on turns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I've got nine spaces, so that's fine. So if I roll my seven, and I think I actually may want to start tightening in. Yeah, I think that's what I want to do. Okay. Do you so have any rattle? She does one. have one rattle, but she'll lose one because she's going at normal speed. Then she's in good shape. Okay, so I'm going at normal speed of seven, but you said with the fate, at the end of... Your movement. Then yep. I must draw an action card. And resolve the danger result. Okay. Now, if you swerve from that danger, you will go toward the inside of the track away from the crowd. Oh, so the swerve there would force you towards the middle of the track. Yeah, they're throwing stuff at you, man. <laughs> Makes sense. I kind of want to be able to go in the... Okay, so I'm going to stay... I'm going to go only in one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Yeah. You ready for your action card? I am ready for my action card. So for my danger for my action card... Oh. Am I going to get murdered? I don't know what this means. Uh, so oh, there, there's a blood. Yeah, there's a blood. What does that mean? Oh, Alan, sorry. What Alan. does the the little blood symbol mean? The blood droplet. Oh no! No! <laughs> Why didn't you spend the tactics? I can't. I can't. I didn't know I had a choice. Oh no! Late, I'm spending it. No! It no! 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 Takes these back. I did not get the option. The, um, Whatever it is, gone. Look, never that happened. Is right. Absolutely, the worst thing that can happen in danger. The the blood drop. Yeah. Means you are half dead. You took oh. a grievous wound. Oh. One more and you're out. Okay, well we're spending a tactics, and we're gonna pretend like we did that in the right order. Uh, so now my now my tactics are down to one. Uh, and I lose my rattle because I stayed at level two speed, so now I have no rattle on the board, but I really have low tactics. Okay. Next up then is... You're going to have to take that corner slow and get your numbers back up. That's next. Okay. So I'm going to reduce my speed to slow, level one, and then I'm just going to take the turn. Super nice and gentle. So one, well, get your benefits. Two, three, four, and yes, I get my benefits. So I increase my endurance by one, and I increase my tactics points. You by also, one. we're the second person out of the corner, so you get a benefit for that. If I'm not mistaken, right, Alan? He gets Correct. A, he gets one tactics. One tactics point. So that means I get two tactics points for being the last one out. You're welcome. Right. How convenient. Uh, I'm gonna. Oh, you spend the tactics for this or no? Um, yes, I'm going to spend one of my many tactics to avoid tactics. that. I will spend... Right. I'm going to stay at my 7 speed. Okay. And what are you going to do here? Actually, am I going to stay at my 7? Or are you going to accelerate here? By the way, spending in tactics to not have the crowd throw curses at you means you probably have followers and fans in the stadium and a brawl is breaking out. 
I mean, have you seen this face? Of course I've got fans and that's, followers. That's why they're stadium. throwing stones at you. I'm, I'm going to go back up to 10, <laughs> and I'm going to spend and spend the uh, throw the die. So I go for 11 movement. Are you trying to catch up? Just a little bit. Um, Aim for right here or right here. Matt, can you move me into like the center row between the two of you? Uh, sure. So give me your start token. I have 11. So you want to go here? Uh, one more. One, more. one, two, and then three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can't even get the hand to hit her anyway, so. Um, <laughs> I'll do that. Are you going to spend one of your tactics points to avoid I, the damage? I get two tactics points, and I'm going to spend one to ignore the damage. Why do you get two tactics That's the last one out of the curve, gotcha. so I get two. And That's then a it's net a, gain of right. one for you there. Um, TP, we're going to need another fate die to be rolled, okay. please. Oh, and you guys are playing so nice. <laughs> I haven't been able to get to them yet to hit them. Well, I'm I'm kind of the the slow rhinoceros from the Jumanji stampede in the back right now. I mean, I, I could have I could have really swerved in and then attacked you, and then run forward. Because you can attack at any <laughs> at any point. <laughs> yes, anywhere along your move. It doesn't have to be the first space, the last space. It's any oh. space along your bed. All right, so they roll the fate die, and we all get one endurance. So basically, oh, you guys yeah. are nice to each other, but not for lack of trying. Exactly. Okay. So we all gain endurance? Yes, we all gain endurance. Look at that. I have max endurance. This is great. All right, who's going first? Me. Not Matt. me. I'm going to increase... Well, first I'm going to spend a endurance and roll my try die. And so, you're increasing your speed? Ooh. And so, yes, I'm increasing my speed as well. So I'm going to have 10 movement this turn. So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... He could yeah. hit me. Eight, yeah. nine, ten. And you're ramming me? And I'm going to ram Josh. All right, after... Okay, take it from where the start space is, because ramming could affect you as well as Josh. Okay. So... Stop at the ramming space and then continue moving. That, that, that's his final oh, spot. Yeah, yeah that's, that's his my, final, my final resting spot is the ram space. Oh, well, how convenient is that? <laughs> yeah. After concluding the first attack made against you each round, gain one tactics card and lose one rattle. So I get to use this action after this. Yeah. So I'm getting three actions. And I get one action. You get one action. Now remember, you can spend tactics to put those back on the deck and one per card. And uh, what gets resolved on these tactics cards? Uh, these actions the cards? Ram. Yeah, the, the ram result. You do gotcha. all the cards, the ram result. Okay. The uh, defender first. All right, and I, do we do that now? Or when yeah, I start moving? Both. They just all happen. Oh, they both oh, all okay. happen. Okay. So okay. defender first. I'm going to spend one tactics mm -hmm. to ignore one of these. Okay. Yep. But I also, at my ability, I gain one tactics when I get a tactics. Yeah, when it's time. all done. When You'll it's get all it done? Back. Okay, all right. And then, so I will take these two. Okay, so Correct. first up is, you're gonna lose an endurance. Okay. Ooh. Next up is, you're gonna lose another endurance. It's okay. And, oh, they shoot horses, don't they? And so I'm going to resolve mine, I'm gonna take it, and I'm gonna get a rattle. Okay. And so, right here. there we go. My rattle's at one now. Yay. All right. The crowd is loving this. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so next up is Anne. Me! Okay, so I am going. Full speed into the curve? No, I hate you. Uh, I'm going to reduce my speed level down to speed level one. Are you rolling your die? What am I. Five, six, seven, eight. No. No, I don't think I'm gonna roll my die after the attack. Yeah, because I need to. I need to get my stuff back up. So, one, two, three, four. You so could in the cut corner, into this one here if you wanted to, since you are going under that speed. Ah, okay. uh, strategy. Uh, help, helping you out there. Okay, fine. <laughs> All right, we'll do that. Okay, uh, since your speed is under the speed for that turn, uh -huh. and you have no rattle, you're yep. good. Okay. 
and that's it, right? I believe so. Did I? And now I get my stuff. I get yeah. to gain a tactics and gain an endurance. Okay. Okay. Hi, Nerfalek. And that's my turn. That's pronounced your Curve on Careful. <clears throat> yeah, no, because the red rocket has got to kind of pull up and regroup and get her chariot back under control. The other guys are closing in. Yeah. <laughs> so for anyone just joining us, we are playing Chariots of Rome by Victory Point Games. We're live with Alan, who is the CEO of Victory Point Games, and their game... Chariots of Rome is available on Kickstarter right now. Happy birthday. Are you attacking me, Josh? Yes, I'm ramming you back. Thank you. Thank you, I appreciate it. Um, I am going to spend a tactics point to get rid of one of these. So you can put that back on top. All right. Um, hmm. So you can spend as many tactics points as you want to get rid of those, Alan, or just one per turn? You can spend tactics... Whenever, however many. Oh. But boy, they sure run out fast. Yeah. Um, reduce your tactics by one. Every time you make an attack, you have to use a tactics. Right? Ah, okay. So I forgot to do that myself. Um, so I'm going to... Here, you could have all of them back. I'm going to reduce... I'm going to use all my tactics points. I'm down to one tactics point. Uh, but I don't, nothing happens to me. All right. How about you, Josh? Nothing happens to me either. Okay. My tactics it's a very friendly ram. <laughs> um, so that's one spot... Two, three, four. I don't know why you didn't attack Anne. Five. I think he's going to try now. He's going to run through you. Six. Seven. And my speed matches my. And you lane. have no rattle. And I have no rattle. So. Okay. Brilliant. I, I should be at this speed. All right. We're going to need another fate die to be rolled. TV, fate die, please. Fate die coming your way. Who's the first player this bad round? Uh, we'll find out in just a second. Okay. Me! And Red Rocket. <laughs> so now, uh, can I... Have a fate card be drawn? Ooh, fate card. What's it going to be? And the crowd goes wild! <sighs> oh, no! This round, during their respective driving steps, the first three chariots each leave one debris obstacle token in their wake, and their moves start space as they drive away. Uh, if any debris tokens remain in the stock. So pretty much I'm leaving a turtle shell behind. Okay, this, this means whatever they have in the stadium, they're tossing it on the track. And right. the first three guys are going to leave a hazard space in their wake. And that's a permanent hazard on the track. Oh, it's it permanent. Brought danger. Sorry. Wait a second. Did Josh resolve the curses from the crowd? Yeah, I used the tactics for it. Did you? Okay. Yeah, I did. Okay, so I the crowd goes wild. So we're going to leave some debris wherever we... All three of us, because there's only three of us in the race. So wherever we start. Yeah, yeah wherever we start. Okay, and uh, the debris is an obstacle that you ha can run into. It's going to stay on the track. Yeah, so if you run into yeah, it, you're going to get a damage. Think of it as a chariot that doesn't move. Okay, perfect. Can I attack while cornering? Oh, yes. <laughs> Just like the sure. So then if I move here, I can attack. I can you ram, can ram Josh? You can Correct. Ram you want to ram me? For my Orion, this is immediately after attacking, so that's either whip or ram, right, Alan? Correct. Okay, so, so you could whip where you are right now. So I'm going to keep my. There's, there's no harm to you if you whip. Ramming has a small risk. I'm all about the risk. Okay, <laughs> so I'm going to I'm going to keep my speed level at four. You're gonna risk it for the biscuit. I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit. I okay. am <laughs> going to because I need to get my tactics and my. Um, endurance back up. So I'm only going to move four spaces. I'm going to put my start to that's your start token. I'm going to put my start Two. token here. So Sean says yes, but you can only attack um, to the right, not inward. Ah, I can only oh. attack outward. Okay, which is still which is still okay for me. Alright. Um, you were going to spend the tactics to do that. Okay, I'm going to spend a tactics to attack him. What happens if I can I have zero tactics? Yep. Excellent. You start yes, the game with zero. But not less. Okay, so. Defender resolves first. Uh, I don't have to decide yet whether or not I'm going to take the risk. Nope, you can see what happens to him first. 
I'll spend one tactic. And you're going to get it back because of your ability. So what do you get here, Josh? Well, you're not supposed to look at him yet, Josh. So first up, it's a ram. No effect. Oh. That's good. That's what happens to me. That's Second one me. is... Ooh, you're going to lose a tactic. So at zero. Ooh. Yeah. If you lose one and you're at zero, you lose, I think, an endurance instead or something. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, but also I gain one back because of my ability. So you're at one tactic. I'm back at one tactic. Okay. Oh, no, if you don't have any, you take a rattle back. Sean will know what the correct yeah. answer is. Okay. But yeah, it's it's really easy to run up your rattle when there's nothing left on your cherry. I am going to spend my tactics point to avoid taking this action. Okay. That goes back in the tuck pile. I gain my tactics point back because I'm at level one. I also gain an endurance back. I don't have any rattle to lose, so that's fine. And since I'm playing as Orions, I gain one additional space for free because I've attacked somebody else on my turn. So, you got it. one, two, three, four, five. And I've come out of the corner. And Yay. It's your first one out, so you get no tactics. Again. Next. Me. Again, for anyone just joining us, this is Chariots of Rome. Uh, we are with Alan, he's the CEO of Victory Point Games. And uh, Chariots of Rome is available on Kickstarter now. But more importantly than being the CEO, I'm a developer on this game. So that's what really matters. Oh, yes. awesome. Thanks, Alan. I'm s- <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Slowing down to four, I used the endeavor to roll my die, so I get five movement. You used a what? Uh, endurance. Oh. <laughs> How many laps are we doing? Generally, you do two laps. Okay. okay. Historically, they would do seven. Ooh. It's got to be really tough. Yeah. Yes, you you spare the horses as much as you can and then pour it on at the end. Yep. All right, so that's the end of my turn. Matt, it's your turn. Okay, so I'm going to stay where I'm at with my seven speed, and I'm going to go... Well, where's my start token? Just because... You also start with the debris. The, the, the so. debris. So I'm going to move one, two... Three, four, five, six, seven. What was that ridiculousness? Are you avoiding going into cornering? Uh, yeah. Because he wants to slow down first, and then he's going to take the corner at slow. So there's a um, a horseback riding school called Dressage, which is like no French, and that's is. definitely what that looked like. All right, so TB, can you have the next fate die to be rolled? Of course. I prance wonderfully, thank you very much. You sure do. And that, that last corner is going to be a fun little next next turn. So the first fake die we see, and that is a fake card. That's a lot of fake cards. It's a fifty percent chance to be a fake card. Ah, Cult of Mithras. This round, at the beginning of your adjustment step, you must roll the fake die for that chariot. Gain double the result benefit unless you roll a lightning bolt. In which case, immediately draw one action card and resolve a danger result. Okay, so you got a fifty-fifty of getting a danger. Or a double benefit. All right, so me, I'm gonna roll the fate die. Ooh, this is this is rough. It could be rough. Ooh, oh, it's danger! I will I will spend my tactics <laughs> quickly. <laughs> I'm also gonna up my speed here, and I'm gonna I come out of here. Don't you have zero tactics, Josh? No, I was at. One. I gained. Why'd you gain? No, one? you're at zero. One. I'm at zero now. Yes. Yeah. I'm at zero now. But you're the first person to come out of the turn. The second person to come out of the turn, so you regain I gained one tactic. Yeah. Do I get that right when I get out of the curve? Uh, yes, as soon as you enter the first space out of the curve. Okay. So, it's the first space out of the curve. I'm whipping you. So I'm spending that one tactic I just got. Of course. <laughs> there goes his tactics. He just got it. Boom. So, Anne, are you going to spend your one tactics to discard one, or to not have to resolve one of them? No, because I have a feeling that if I roll a danger, that the effects of the danger are much more severe than any effects I might get out of the whip. Correct. So I will... Take all three. Take that whip. <laughs> take the whip. So first off, no effect. Woo! Good. 
Next up. No effect. You're going to lose one endurance. And finally, ooh, you're going to swerve. <gasps> okay, swerve away from the danger and back half a space. Back okay. half a space. There you go. Okay. Very good. Um, yeah. So I've, I've moved one space. I have six spaces left. One, two, three, four, five, six. There you go. And that's where I'm going to end my turn. Okay. okay. Next up is. Yeah. Me! I'm last. I would time. like chat to roll the fake die for me. We're going to roll the fake die for you? Let's yes. Do it. I hope she gets a lightning bolt. Lightning bolt. That's all they ever roll. Lightning bolt. They rolled an endurance once. Yeah. Oh, okay. Lightning bolt means danger. Danger will rob. Yes, danger will rob. Oh, God, I can't (laughs) say it either. Danger will Robinson. Ah! Yeah, lightning bolt. So do you want to spend your tactics point to avoid it, Anne? Yes, I do. I don't think you do. A lot of fake cards. Matt, can I have the action cards that you have in front of you? Uh, you certainly can. Certainly. Right. Certainly. Certainly. Okay, I'm going to be increasing my speed to speed level two, and I'm also going to be using my tri die. I am going to. That's a fake die. Goodbye. So, <laughs> um, yeah. I spent my endurance. I got a three, so my Some speed is now ten. Oh, so lucky are you. <laughs> okay. One, two, I think we always three, get the, the awesome four, voices with the uh, Victor Frank games. Yeah. <laughs> Five. Six. Seven. seven. You gotta spend the tactics to attack me. Do it. Dang it! I don't oh, have any! Can't do it. <laughs> okay, can't she spend a rattle to do it? No. No. <laughs> I sacrificed my own charity. One, two, three, four, five. Ack! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. It's uh, hard to really sacrifice your chariot as these are basically quicker baskets with wheels. I mean, they're very light to get Okay, so it is my turn now. I'm going to need the fate die, please. You don't want chat to roll for you? You don't trust them? Roll them, check. Why wouldn't Perfect. you trust them? Fine, fine, let chat do it. Do it, TP, let chat roll for me. Do it! Oh, what have I done? Oh, wrong, wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I, I need to not roll no, the That's good, myself, though. That's good. <laughs> she got it out of the way for me. Yeah. I, I feel like you should take that one. Uh, no, that's that's not right. I don't think so. I do. Oh, look, so, guys, if you're in chat right now, go ahead. Yes! Endurance. <laughs> so you get two endurance. You can only get one, though. Yeah, unfortunately. Um, so I'm going to reduce my level, or first I'm going to roll my try now. Doing this on purpose. On porpoise. On porpoise? Ooh, a yes, there are porpoises in chariot racing there. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to move one additional space. I'm going to reduce my speed down to level one. Okay. So I am going to gain that endurance back that I got from rolling the try die. I gain one of my tactics. At the points. end of the turn. At the end of the turn. Yes. Okay, so I will gain a tactics point back. And you'll gain your endurance back at the end of the turn, too. So then I'm going to move one. So because I have five movement, I'm going to gain one action card. You didn't card. want to move outside one? No. Okay. Because of my ability. So once per cornering stack, after revealing an action card from it, I can discard it and redraw. Oh, okay. All right. So if it's a, if it's a no effect, then I'll just, you know, keep, keep it. it. So then as I move my next space, I am going to... Uh, resolve the cornering of lose one endurance. I'll keep that. So okay. then I'm going to, I have no more actions, so I'm going to resolve the rest of my movement. So that was two, three, four, five. And so now I gain my tactics point back and my endurance back. Um, you also lose your rattle. It's under your tactics thing. Oh. Yeah. I've been moving that around with it. Yeah, I, I see that. So yeah, I have no more rattle. Oh, in which case I should have had another action. Because your rattle gets added to your speed. Ah, uh, correct. But it's five, that's a four. So you only get one action card. But yes, you should have got another card. So. To give him another card. <laughs> uh, so that one was gain a rattle. So I'm going to use my ability to discard that and redraw it. 
uh, in which good, good play. And now I get another endurance loss, so I'm just going to take that endurance loss there. Right. Okay, so that is the end of my turn, and that's the end of the round. Uh, so this is where things start yeah. getting fun. You get to go there. Oh no, that's me. Oh no, that's me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's oh. me. Is it? I can't. Yes. yes. So you get that. I can get another fate die rolled. TP. Another fate die? Yep. Yes. Boom. Lightning bolt. It's going to lightning bolt. All the lightning bolts, please. Uh, or we can get something nice for... Uh, everyone gets an endurance. Okay. Ooh, that is nice. Yay! Yay! I'm first. What are you doing, Josh? I'm gonna spend this to roll the. Try die. Try die. Move two extra spaces. All right. Um, and you're on what speed level? Two. On two, so I get nine spaces. Um, just move me nine forward. One, two, or let's put your start die, your start marker there. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That worked out perfectly. Um, what are you thinking? I want to cut in to the wall. Okay, so you want to go here instead. Um, yeah, that's, oh, that's well, perfect. The, the tactics are starting to, to yes. come up. That, that, that's, that's perfect. That'll because that'll put you at six? Yeah. But I'm not in the curve yet. So I can still actually cut it into the five. You could he could manage to cut it into the four. I could c cut it into the four. Yeah, from where I'm at. So if I slow down and just cut it, uh, okay. I can always zigzag to use up a little extra yeah. energy. That that's my move there. Yeah, that, that's what Matt did. He zigzagged all over. My dressage, as you put it. Is that your uh, a Mario Kart move? Yeah. The the. Uh, Snaking? <laughs> exactly. Uh, so who is up next, Josh? Um, up next is... Matt. Okay. Uh, I'm going next. So I'm going to uh, spend an endurance to roll my try die. I need the try die. Give me. Give me. <laughs> Thanks, Josh. One! Yay! Yay! So I'm, gonna, I'm on T-Man, obviously. Like, I'm going to increase... I'm going to increase my level by one, my speed level, so I'm going to move eight spaces. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I am going to spend a tactics point to whip Ann. Of course you are. Do you like being a whip Ann? So Ann, I would ask you if you were going to spend one of your tactics points to not have to resolve them, but you don't have any. My turn's next. So first up, uh, oh, you have to swerve. Okay, she goes away from you and back, so she'll be parallel. Okay. Oh, so you won't get to attack me. Well, maybe you will, oh, maybe she, you won't. She can? Uh, ooh, then you're going to lose a tactics point. But since you don't have any tactics points, she, she loses... She takes a rattle. She takes a rattle. Gain a rattle. Look at that. Ooh, that stinks. <laughs> and, oh, look, a, another whip, and this one you gain another rattle. You're two okay. rattles. That was a really bad whip. Yeah, I, was a, I whipped you good on that one. <laughs> oh, man, whipping good. <laughs> a problem came along and I whipped it. Did you shake? Whipped it good. Okay, whose turn is it now? Um, so it's answer. It's my turn. Okay, I definitely need tactics, so I'm going to automatically off the bat, I'm going to be reducing my speed, and that'll help me get rid of my two rattle points. Uh, I'm going to spend an endurance to roll the try die. But I'll get it back, so. That's, that's what you think. A one. Was it worth it then? Was it worth it? Tell me. It was. I don't get my tactics until the end, so I can't actually. Can mm. I just take it now? That's a pity, eh? Can I just get it now? Nope. If you I believe you get those before you move. So yeah. Sean would remember exactly. I'm so okay with that. If <laughs> Alan says I do. And just wants to ram me. The beauty of board games is that the rules are malleable and you can change them all the time. 
Don't read that. Don't worry about what it says on the paper. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to spend says it, so it's true. that one tactics that I just gained. Are you going to whip me or ram me? I'm going to... Because if you ram me, ram. you cannot uh, neglect the tactics card, the action card that you get. That's fine. I'll just whip you. It's going to be all no effects. Be my life. Well, what do you get for the whip? <laughs> oh, for attacking? Uh, for attacking, you have to move an extra space yes. immediately. Okay. So, first one is... Ooh, I get a swerve. Ooh, that's really bad. Oh, yeah, you're into the wall. Trouble. You're into the wall, so you're going to get a card yeah. and get damage. So yeah. you go back one space straight back and draw a danger card. Uh, I'm going to spend my tactics point to avoid that danger card. All right, so just go back one space straight back. Uh, then, uh, oh, I'm going to lose a tactics point, which means I'm going to get a rattle. Yes, you are. <laughs> and, what, what were you saying when you were attacking me? And then I'm going to get another rattle. Oh, yay! <laughs> Thanks, Anne. Sweet, sweet justice. Blam! So Sounds now blam. I blam. have, I spent, I have a five, that was very aggressive, six spaces because I get my one additional. All right, and you spent one, so you have five left. Matt, could you move my character for me? Yeah, sure. Thanks, how far appreciate you, it. How far do you have to move? Uh... Five more. One, two, three, four, five. We'll put you right at the front of the five. That line. is excellent. 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 Okay. Wow, another rattle. Five. Okay. All right. So that is the end of this round, right? Josh? Yes. So we need another fate die to be rolled. TP fate die, please. Fate die time. All right. I kind of hope Anne goes before me. So for anyone just joining us, this is Chariots of Rome. It is available on Kickstarter right now. We'll be posting the link in our chat. And we're here with Alan, who is one of the developers of the game from Victory Point Games. All right. Matt. That's me. Um, ooh, that makes life interesting now. Hmm. So I'm going to actually... None of us have tactics. I'm going to spend an endurance to roll the tri-die. So where's the tri-die at? That was a great use of your endurance. You're staying at two speed? Uh, no, I'm going to reduce down to level one. Matt right. rolled a one on the tri-die. So now I'm going to move five spaces. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Oh, what was the fate die that we got rolled? Because we forgot to... Oh, yes. What was the fate die? The fate die was a... Uh... Endurance. Endurance? Alright, everyone gets endurance. Courtesy okay. of Peter C. Hayward. Thank you, Peter Chayward. <laughs> Alright, so then because I went down to level one, I'm going to lose my two rattle. I'm going to gain one tactics <laughs> point, and I'm going to gain one endurance. Uh, I'm next. <laughs> Josh is next. You should beat up Anne. No. I don't think so. If I had tacked it, I would have to slow down and do it. You should. You should beat up Anne. <laughs> or you could run through her. That does damage that would to me. Him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna stay at my. Sp Can you back up and just ram that? You know, like mm. the pullback cars. You back up and gain speed. That's a six. Yes, it is. <laughs> Backing up. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna fall forward seven spaces. So you get an... I don't get anything. Action. Why? Because You're going into a six space with seven, oh, seven? speed. How um, much rattle? He has no, no rattle. rattle. Well, actually, none of us have rattle right now. We're being surprisingly kind to each other. Yeah, I'll take the one action card. That's fine. Okay. Okay, so you're going to move one into there for one. And then... Uh, this is the corner, so you're going to take a rattle now. Okay. And, and just move me the... Two, three, four, five, six, seven? Yeah. Six, seven. Okay. Whoopsie. <laughs> By the way, you're playing a late beta version of the game, so it's playing on a paper board, but the actual game itself will have a mounted board. Awesome. Oh, nice. So, Def Tari says, so is the goal to run Matt off the road? That's yes. essentially how we now, always play. Can that be written to the rules? Because I would. Yeah. That's kind of perfect. All right. And last up is. Me! Yeah. Okay, I need to approach with caution. Yes, you do. So you can cut into the corner at your four speed. I think that's what I'm going to do. 
That was very unattractive. <laughs> <laughs> so my star token, just in case I lose count. One, two, three, four. I'm the second one out of cornering. So that means that I get a tactic, right? Yep. Or two. You yeah. sure do. Uh, well, excellent. And I also get, because I, I stayed at four speed, I gain a tactic for that and an endurance for that as well. Yep. Awesome. Okay, so it is my turn then? Yep. Uh, oh, you reshuffled? Oh, no, I didn't shuffle, sorry. We need to uh, shuffle and we need a fake die, don't oh, we? Oh, that was the end of the turn, I'm sorry. Yes. yes. You can make some. Oh, are well, you used to? Remember that creature, yeah. it's going to get two tactics when it completes its order. Yeah. You'll need them. I probably will. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you're just going to shuffle I'm waiting for a fake time. Uh, she didn't ask for it. She was, in Twitch. she was in Twitch land right now. There's a lot more chat than she's used to. <laughs> Thank so you. She's uh, like, oh, no. Wow, another rattle. What yeah. happened? Has a very astute observation. <laughs> astute? Mm -hmm. Astute. Another fate. Ooh, the corrupt wager. Ooh. Uh-oh. This round at the beginning of the initiative phase, note the chariot in last place. You! That's me. Yay! During their speed step, all other chariots must reduce their speed by at least one level. What? The chariot in last place is unaffected. So I slow you all down. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> you would. In the game and in real life. Yay! <laughs> so. Oh, so now both of you guys lower your speed levels by one. I can't. So, Alan, what happens if she's at speed level one? She stays at level one. She stays at speed level one. I would hope that she would stop and smell the roses. <laughs> well, that's not what the track smells like, actually. <laughs> it smells like road apples, I'm sure. All right. There you go. Uh, so I'm going to stay at my speed of four. And... Yeah, I'm just going to stay at my speed of four. So one, two, three, four... Uh, coming up the rear. Coming up behind you, and so then because I stayed at speed level four, I'm going to gain a tactics point. I'm going to gain an endurance, and I don't have any rattle, so that's going to stay where it is. You completed a lap, by the way. Unless you want to be a lap behind. I, I don't. <laughs> okay, so that's the end of my turn. So uh, who's next, Josh? And yay! I am going to spend an endurance to roll my tri die. Matt has it. Thank you. Remember the corrupt wager. What's up, TK? Uh, Peter's asking, what's the brick on the track ahead? Can you guys... Oh, so there's the a couple of spots on the track ahead, and that's Debris, as I like to say. Uh, debris. It's debris <laughs> that we left on the field because the fans were throwing stuff at us. Oh, so you can't... So it says during your speed step, all other... No. That's during my speed step. Okay. All other chariots reduce yeah. their speed by one. So, yeah, you can... I read it wrong. Are you sure? Are you good? Just want to make sure. Okay. I am going to roll my go. try die. Move what closer? I don't, I don't know what you're asking. <laughs> I don't know what you're asking. So I rolled a two on my try die. Uh, I'm going to add that to my speed of four. That's exciting. It is exciting. And you're going to attack Josh when you're moving past him, right? <laughs> of course I am. So I am going to place my start token down. And then you're <laughs> going to move, right? I am going to gain a tactics and gain an endurance because I'm at speed level four. So one. I'm just going to whip you from here. Where? I can't see. You're gonna whip there, me? diagonally. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'll take all three because I have to. I'm going to take it like a twitch. Take so, it like a twitch. First up, Josh is going to get a rattle. It's good. Next up, Josh is going to get no effect. It's good. Oh. And then Josh is going to lose an endurance. All right. And I use my thing. I get one tactics, and I lose a rattle when I get attacked. When you get attacked, yeah. Because yep. I'm yep. awesome like that. Okay. Yeah, he's one, really good. Two, he's three, wearing the, four, the target five, toga. Six. Okay. So that is the end of my turn. Yay! Yay! And did you spend the tactics to attack me? She sure yes. did. So whose turn is it next? <laughs> it's my turn. What are you going to do, Josh? Spend this. To roll your try die. Um, I want to be right in front of Anne, diagonally, please. Where? I can't see. 
So, what's your movement? Uh, five. Total of five. So, one, two, three, four, five? Yes. Up here? There you go. And Are you uh, going to ram Anne? Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna ram Anne. So, like I, I believe said. that's a traditional Japanese soup. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm going in at three. <laughs> Someone please up the punk counter. That was just... That was horrible. <laughs> I had to, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, the word for it, it took me about 30 seconds. Yeah, it's, it's the slow burn, I guess, yeah. <laughs> all right, and so are you taking all three of those? How many are you taking? I get one. You can take one? But you also spend your tactics point to... Attack me. I also gained oh, one because gained of one because of the fact that you're at speed level one. Yeah. So I got rid of my rattle and I also right. gained an endurance back. So Anne, what are you gonna do? I'm going to take all three. Yeah, why not? Oh. No, I'm just gonna oh. take two. You're gonna take two? No, I'm gonna take two. Just do it, just do it, just do it. Alright. No effects for the first one. No, that's a ram. I rammed her. Oh you rammed. Sorry, you lost you, an lose, endurance. you lose an endurance. Yes. So then you're gonna take another loss of an endurance. Okay. And then this. you're gonna Swerve. take a no effect. Yes. Swerve that! Alright, so we need another fate die to be rolled. TP, fate die, please. Fate die, it's coming your way. Alright, the first person to roll a fate die with exclamation point fate will determine the fate of our players. Ooh. Ooh, so like when, how dramatically you when does this end, Josh? When we get to the finish line this time, or one more lap after that? It would be this time is the end of the second lap. Okay. So now you're going to start running? Yeah. <laughs> now right. paying attention to, to winning. Uh, fate die, we rolled a fate card. Ooh, fate card. So we're going to get water boys on the track. <laughs> what? This round, at the beginning of your adjustment step, you may roll the try die and lose up to that many rattled. Okay. So you're gonna heal some rattle this time. Okay. You're gonna do some yep, they're, water they're boy. Throwing water on you first. Kind of keep you going. Cause that's some high quality H two O. There we go. <laughs> okay. The uh, water's being tossed with sponges, by the way. Sponge was the way Romans conveyed water. <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, here, if you went to the bathroom, the public bathroom in Rome, you didn't have toilet paper. You had a stick with a sponge on it and a little stream of fresh water running in front of you. Nope, 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 nope. That's why I check out. <laughs> oh, done. Are Wait. those the same sponges Stop. that they threw no. at the chariot? No. And that's why you have fresh water running. And with that, we've gotten a couple of followers. <laughs> and they want to know if you're a history teacher. Yes. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Okay. Right. So who's going first, Josh? I am. So you're going to ram in again? Do now you're making it. me hungry. Do it. The thought of Josh ramming in makes you hungry. No, Josh. Oh, okay. Um, Just to clarify that. Yeah, I'm going to ram her. I'm going to stay at four speed. So I'm going to keep my tactics, basically. I gain my... Endurance. Why are you wasting them on me? You know that this is the part of the game where Matt tries he to turn everybody anything. else away. Okay. He's so far behind right now that it doesn't matter. I don't think he... I, he's going to ramp up his speed. Oh, I never, I never did my ram for my last turn. And I think I can explain it. Yes, please. There's something called the triple A plan. Now, here at Victory Point Games, the triple A plan is attack Alan always. <laughs> <laughs> it is attack Anne always. <laughs> I get it's it. typically I Matt, it. but Matt's. I can't. I can't get that Matt right now. <gasps> Great Dyers has any Ben Hur jokes, and we haven't made any Ben Hur jokes yet. Okay, good enough. Go ahead. Well, yours would be her Ben Hur. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, Andy, you taking all three of these? Um. Mm, sure, why not? So this doesn't do anything for us because none of us have rattle. So, ram, no effect. TP it's another work. movie reference that you don't get, Nicole. <laughs> That's what Ben Hur is. Anne's gonna take a rattle now. Okay. All right, so she can actually cure that on her turn. And now you're gonna swerve Anne. Ooh. Into the wall. That means you're gonna get it. No, damaged. I'm spending my tactics and I'm not taking the danger. <laughs> Stranger danger. Stranger right, danger. My turn. 
Oh, that was your turn. I mean, the rest of my turn? No, that's it. You oh, I get my... Your Mac action. Mac Ram, Mac you're going to lose a tactics point. Good. All right. And then I move four spaces. One, two, three, four. You have tiny T-Rex arms. Reach that far. So... So you're right in the way exactly. for me, for the debris. Debris. God, I hate you. So who's next? Anne. Uh, Anne. That's not me. That's Anne. Okay. Get that out of the way. So now that I have Rattle, how does this fate so impact So you roll me? this. You get rid of your one Rattle. Because you roll this and you reduce that much Rattle from your board. Okay. So, I so you roll at least a one. There's no blanks on it. So you get rid of your one. I'm going to... What happens if I run through you? What am I risking? You are going to take a damage. Do it. Do it. Okay. I'm going to ramp up to level 2 speed. I'm going to spend an endurance <laughs> to roll my tri-die. <laughs> she knows what she's doing. I know what I'm doing. I rolled a 3. Ooh. So I have a speed Ooh. of 10. So, one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to whip Josh. Are you going to nay nay him as well? Yep. Okay. All right, Matt. So, Josh, you have to take these, don't you? Yep. Ooh, you're going to lose a tactics point. I don't have any tactics, so I'm going to get... You're going to get a rattle. A rattle. How a rattle. However, with your ability... Yes, I will. So we need more. Uh, it's actually kind of a good thing for me? Uh, no effect. All right. Apparently, one of Alan's... Former students is in chat. That's awesome. <laughs> and then what's the last card, Matt? Uh, you're going to take another rattle. So another rattle? Right. Okay. I uh, use my ability. I actually get a tactic. So I went from zero to one now, and I go back down to one rattle. So he got uh, one tactics and one rattle from that into yes. a total. I got an extra movement point because of my ability. So one, two, three, four, five, six... Which space is that on? That's on that space there. So it goes one more. Seven. Yep. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Jeez. Anne is too fast. Hold on, but. Okay, so it's my turn now. Uh, I'm going to spend one of my endurance to roll a try die. Whoopsie. Of course it's one. Uh, then I'm going to up my speed to level two. I'm going to then move eight spaces in total, so that's one. I am the last person out of the turn, so I'm going to get two tactics points. And then I'm going to move my remaining one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that is the end of my turn. Okay. I am really far behind. Oh, pedal to the wicker. All right. Yeah. <laughs> we need another fake die. I did not see Peter's question. Uh, what does damage do? So damage is just another uh, reason that you're going to be drawing an action card, but they go up in severity as the action card progresses. So whip is the least bad, it seems. Uh, then ram, then corner, and then danger damage is by far the worst. So you see on this card, whip gives you one rattle. Uh, rattle. Ram makes you swerve. Corner is actually no effect on this, but danger, you lose two endurance, and you gain a rattle as well. Yeah. Um, and right, and then Sean is saying six rattles or zero endurance, and you're out of the game. That's it. Okay. Can we have a fake die, TB? Yeah, fake die is coming your way. Let's get a, a nice bad fate. <laughs> fake card! <laughs> so, what happens? Jupiter's beard! All characters with two or fewer rattled immediately get one rattled. Reshuffle the fate deck and discard together to refresh the fate deck. What? So we're all going to gain a rattle. Yeah. Uh, and the fate deck gets reshuffled. Correct. And who goes first, Josh? Good question. Me. Of course you do. Right in the microphone. It's the best. Yeah. Best noise. <laughs> So these action cards are sort of a catch-up mechanism? Excuse me? Uh, Peter's asking, so these catch-up cards are- The sort of, action cards? Action cards, sorry, are sort of a catch-up mechanism? Uh, they're more of a way that you have to deal with stuff happening to you. The built-in catch-up mechanism, as Alan was describing earlier, uh, is embedded in the cornering. So when you come out of the corner, the first player does not get any tactics points 
Uh, second player gets a tactics point, third player gets two tactics points, and tactic points are great because that's what allows you to skip action cards and attack other players. So Sean, as a clarification, the action cards are the randomizer for damage and corner results. Mm -hmm. Correct. All right. So I'm grabbing three. Oh, no, that would be five. Well, no. somebody mentioned the release date. Four. We're really on for November. We're sending this thing off to the printer like next week. So it's, oh, it's cool. going to be Great. through the cycles on time. Nice. Cool. So for anyone who um, is just joining us or who may not be in chat, this game is Chariots of Rome. Um, it is available on Kickstarter now, and we highly recommend you join us in chat so you can get that link. Joshua, go away. Whip, whip. <laughs> uh, so, Anne, would you like to spend one of your uh, tactics points, your one tactics point, to avoid one of these? No. Okay. So, whip the first one, you're going to gain a rattle. Okay. Ouch. Then, you are going to lose a tactics point. Seriously? Okay. Then, you are going to have no effect. I like that one. All right, so that's my four, five. I'm gonna go into the curve, go on at seven speed with one rattle, so that's eight, and it's a four, so I'm taking four. I hope they're all rattle, and that you break your chariot. And um, this is all gonna be cornering. Or, no, I, I only do one at a time for these. Right, right, so give for me each space one. after the first one. I've got So, it. one, two, three, four, five, six. I only do one card right now, so flip one. Uh, cornering? Yep. You're gonna take a rattle. All right. And then you get a little stack for the remainder to do at the beginning of your next turn. That's the end of my movement. Oh, so. that's the end of your movement? Okay. Yeah. So. Our debris from last turn is in really bad places because it's like blocked off the cornering lanes. Yep. Yeah, you gotta go in or you gotta go out. Matt, your turn. I'm gonna stay and attack in. at seven speed. I'm gonna spend an endurance to roll the fate die. Okay. One, because I can't roll anything but a one. <laughs> um, one. So I'm gonna move one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and um, you have one movement left. I know. I'm getting there. Uh, I'm going to ram me. Uh, no, I'm going to whip you. No. I, uh, no, I'm gonna. I'm gonna whip you. And then are you going to put in front of her? No. Uh, so you're going to lose one tactics point. And I can't have a, lose a tactics point, so I gain a rattle? Yep, that's correct. Then you're going to gain a rattle. Okay. And then you're going to lose an endurance. Okay. Oh, man, that's bad going into a corner. I'm glad I didn't ram her, because two of the cards had no effect on Oops. the ram. So that was a good whip. That was a good whip. So um, what are you doing with your last movement? So because I have, I stayed on speed two, I lose my... One rattle? My one rattle. Okay. And then I'm going to move into the four spot. You're moving into the four spot? Yes, I am. So you're getting three tactics cards? I'm going to get three tactics cards. Or three attack Action cards. cards. Action cards. Um, you don't show these yet until next round. That's perfect. All right. And it's your Peter turn. has a question. Yes. Why yeah. ram instead of whip? What's the mechanical difference? So I can answer that. But he asked Josh. Okay. Oh. Um, the rams typically have more damage to them. Um, you also hurt yourself in the process. And most, a lot of the whip cards have like no effect. Uh, we've just been getting some really nasty whips. Just randomized. So. But you also hurt yourself with the ram. Yes, you also hurt yourself with the ram. And you could only ram behind you. Yes, you can only run behind you. I'm just getting caught up to chat now. Um, Alan, did you see the question from Peter regarding, um, he said, it hasn't funded yet. Are you going to the printer whether or not it funds? Yes. Wait, <laughs> if it will, will it be in stores? I don't know. If, if it doesn't fund, we'll, we'll probably try and track those people down and make sure they get theirs. But that means it'll be a really short print run, so there won't be many for stores. All right. Okay. I have decided to reduce my speed level to level one. I'm going to use one of my... No, your total speed yeah. is going to be... I know. So whatever you roll is going to add to that, plus your rattle. Okay, so 
I'm going to lose my rattle. I'm going to lose two rattle. So I'm not going to spend the endurance. Right. I think you're at six with your endurance. Okay, so I gain the endurance and I gain the tactics. Okay. And I'm not running that. I have a speed of six. I hate you guys. That's not you. Oh, I know. I was just picking it up Don't so I could see. Character. Oh my god. <laughs> One, two. Okay, so you have a speed of four, and you're going into the... Five. Five, lane. but you have two, so you're going to get one cornering card. <clears throat> Are you going to attack anyone while you're cornering, or...? Yes. I'm going to spend my tactics to attack Joshua. I'm going to whip, whip him. So, give me those whip cards, Josh. Are you ignoring any of them? No, I can't. Okay, so the first one is no effect. Yes. The second one is no effect. Yes. How does he get those? The third <laughs> one is losing endurance. Sure okay. All right. It's the top one on the card. So that's. So how much endurance so do you have, Josh? You're gonna once you start moving, you're gonna flip over that action card. For so the once you move your first space, you flip over your action card, and that is cornering, yes. which is no effect. Okay. Uh. So I had four, I got plus one. Did I start here or here? Where your start is. So you were right before the corner. Is endurance help? Um, is endurance is your horse two, stuff. Yeah, you know, the horsey three, health. Four, then you have your four, rattle, which is your chariot health, mm -hmm. and you've got your tactics uh, points. No, you only four movement. I attack somebody. Oh, you attack someone, sorry. I forgot. Okay. Can I lie and say I started here? No. You lie like a rug. All right, we need another fate. Fate die, TP. Fate die, it's coming. First person to roll exclamation point fate will determine their fate. Hmm. This might be the last round. Resolve a fate card. That's yeah, a race to the finish. We got water boys on the track again. <laughs> again? Yeah. We are uh, back. Uh, this round at the beginning of your adjustment step, you may roll the try die and lose up to that many rattles. All right. Well, they're hitting your chariot wheels now, which really overheated during these races. There you go. So first up, it's me. Man. Ooh. Okay, I am. If going... it's not first, it's whoever's furthest past the finish line at the end of the the game, right, Alan? Yes. Ooh. Yes. So just letting you know. Just because you go first, that's, that's it. A, don't get you. too excited, Anne. That's exactly what he said. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. That so sounds he, pretty good. He could, Josh could maximum stop at this point here. I would need to move one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Man, the amount of strategy being used here. <laughs> we're, we're a little competitive. Well, there's a reason that uh, we mock her for her analysis but you were paralysis. One, why'd you, you were one speed. Size. You can only go up to uh. two. You can't go up to three speeds. It was named after her. Sorry. So you can roll your die <laughs> and go for it. So you get okay. to roll your die at the beginning of your turn. You get ready so what if you pass this mm -hmm. and then I, the other players don't? Do you get another turn? Or do you end your race, and that's just your ending point? That's the end. So, so it's it's the first one to do it. If no one else passes it on that turn, I'm the winner. So as soon as someone crosses the finish line, that it that's ends the that last turn. round. Yes, that round, and then whoever's furthest past the finish line at the final finalization of that round yes. is the winner. So uh, you get to recover rattle. So you get to recover one rattle. On the round that the first person crosses, all the people who cross the finish line are done. The other people get a chance to cross the finish line to figure out where in last place they are. Oh. Okay. That's the last place. If you ain't first, you're last. That's what this is about to be. That's why Josh is making an awful face on his face. Two, three. That's Dang a one. Eight. One, one two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, and cross the finish line. I did, but it's not going to be enough. You don't know that. I'm, so I'm salty already. Matt, you're next. <laughs> She's salty already. <laughs> Um, and should be back one before her start. Is that 
She better start point forward one last turn. Uh, she attacked, so she gets to move an extra space. Yeah. Okay. So. Ah, her special power. Yeah. Her special power. So she made it. So, I've got a question here. You have to go through me, and you have to take a damage for that. Why do I Ouch. have to go through you? You. Oh no! You, you can go out. You can go around me. So nothing happens to you if I go through you. No, no, I don't believe anything happens to me. It's just to you. So right. So when going around the corner, how does attacking work? Can I whip him if I'm on the outside track or no? You can't whip him from the same lane. Yeah, you've got to be adjacent to him. But yeah. but you can whip me. Can I ram him from the outside track as well or no? No, he said you can only. No centrifugal force. You can only ram to your right. You can whip to your left, I think. Okay, perfect. I think he might be right. What? Scotty, 297? Yeah. She was here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then she went 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then she had 7 movement, plus the 1 Did die. you attack me and then move last turn? I attacked you in the middle of my turn. Yeah, so I think I was one space behind that. Yeah. Wow, and yeah, yeah, acknowledging. Yeah. She was. Oh. Yeah, because I moved one extra space. So she's so. here, technically? Well, that means that I was... Yes, you would be there. Yay! Okay. Well, wait, stop. Mm -hmm. If so that means I would have been here. Yeah. Which means... You cannot cut in yet because it's still in the corner. But she could whip me. So now I don't remember where my thing but started. But you, you didn't have any tactics. Yeah. You're out of tactics. Oh, this is going to be a brutal bitch. <laughs> I'm not going to pass the finish line anyway. So that was for my try-die. So you can get in his way. I'm going to... Okay, so then this changes how I'm going to do my turn. I'm going to whip you. You have no <clears throat> tactics. You can't whip. You can't whip. I'm going to reduce my speed. I'm not going to cross oh, okay. the finish line anyway. Ooh. Ooh. <clears throat> I'm going to... Oh. I'm not going, I'm going, I got, I reduced my speed down to four. What did I roll? A one? You did. You rolled yeah. a one. Okay. So your rattle goes away. My rattle goes away. And these have to get resolved. My tactics now. goes up. And, and these are your whip cards? Endurance goes up. Yeah. Okay, so your first whip card, Josh, is you're going to lose a tactics point. I don't, I gain a rattle. Then next up is you're going to lose a tactics point. <laughs> I gain a rattle. Next up, die, you're going to lose die. an endurance. Yeah, it's not All right. How so, many rattles do you have? Uh, I'm at four. Oh, two more, and that's it. I have lost my tactics point because I used it to attack Josh. However, I gained a speed point. So, one, two, three, four, five for my regular, and six. Did you, you didn't cross okay. the finish line? No. Oh. Don't rub it into you, baby. You could jump so, in the lane, so we have to go around you if you want. So, Peter had asked... Can you get off your horse and just run for the finish line? Yes! Ricky Bobby style. <laughs> All right, so Matt, right. what are you doing? Actually, you know, you can't do that because when you start the race, you are tied by leather straps <laughs> onto your horses. I mean, you, if, if they go, you go with them. <laughs> so when, when you fell out of a chariot, you had a little dagger to cut that leather strap so you wouldn't, the, the horses wouldn't drag you all over the track. Oh, my gosh. All right, so... Matt, it's your turn. What are you doing? So I am going to roll my tri die. Spend my endurance for that. All right. You don't have any rattles, so the water boys don't help you at all. What was it, Ed? Where did it go? You roll again because you rolled off the table. Yeah, that's true. Oh, it's a two. Same thing. Thank okay. You. So that is a two. I'm going to increase my speed to level three. Okay. And then I am going to move. So where's my start token? It is here. Okay. So I've got a uh, 12 movement. Okay. So I'm going to move one. That's one is here? Yeah, one, two, three, four. And okay. then I'm going to whip Josh. No, I'm going <laughs> to yes. I'm gonna ram Josh. Ooh. So I'm going to spend a tactics, and I'm going to... I'm sorry, sorry, back it up. I have three cornering actions that need to be resolved. Okay. So you're here. First one. First one is I am going to no effect. no effect. I'll keep that. Then move me forward once. I can't see what that says, TP. You're moving way too far. What's I do. the next one? Uh, the next one is corner is I'm going to take a rattle. 
I will gladly take that rattle. Definitely take a rattle today for a hamburger tomorrow. <laughs> and then I'm going to swerve with that one, but I'm going to use my ability to draw a new one. And with that, I'm going to lose an endurance. So I will gladly take that as well. So That's now I'm going to ram me. Ram Josh. Okay. And you spent your tactics. So I spent my tactics already for that. So I'm going to ram Josh. Uh, first ram is you're going to swerve, which means stranger danger, Josh. Oh. And out, back and out, not just back. That's uh, I just back. I'm against the wall. Yeah, because on you swerve. Um, again, You're in the corner. Right. So I swerve out. You, so swerve, you swerve out because it's yeah, I swerve force. out. Yeah, right. okay. So I don't. I don't. Yes. I just swerve back. That's fine. Yeah, you don't. Okay, that's fine. That's it's a trivial force. You got to swerve toward the outside wall. Okay. Uh, so then the next ram is you're gonna take a rattle. Okay. And then the final ram is rattle, rattle. rattle. You're gonna lose an endurance. <laughs> oh. All right. Um, I'm See, gonna. I'm going to spend my tactics point to not have to deal with that. Okay. And I am... So you did one, two, three, four, and you have a total of 12? That is correct. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Ooh. This is close. Oh. All right, my turn? Yeah. <laughs> so I roll this. I'm going to recover... Oh, I get one tactics. Because you were And I recover a rattle because of my um, pack. You can't run around the outside. Oh, you are correct. I could not ram there. Oh, so these were all whips? Those were all whips. Um, no effect. I would have stayed where I was because I didn't get that. Um, endurance. You lost an endurance anyways? Yeah, they, these two were reversed. Okay. So I just, I didn't get my position moved. Gotcha. Okay. So I'm going to recover one. I'm going to spend a fatigue. Ooh. You're going to spend a what? Uh, endurance. To... In two movement, I'm going to up my speed to a 12. So I can use the tactics to ignore damage from running through someone, right? I think Josh just Yes. Yeah. Tactics is the miracle pre band aid. Okay. So this is, this is one. Stop, stop. <laughs> Corner in. I get a rattle. Rattle. Two. Oh, he's got all these. Rattle, rattle. Uh, that is a swerve. So I could swerve outwards? No, you swerve towards so, the wall, and because you're already at the wall, now you get a danger card because you're outside of the cornering. Yes, which means you're going to get another rattle. It's away from the attack, so I'm just driving forward. So does the swerve always go... Away from the crowd, <laughs> unless you're on the corner. Listen, okay. I'm paying attention to when you get busted. <laughs> Alan, okay. another one of your students are <laughs> in the chat. <laughs> oh, bless their hearts. Right. They the best I am going to spend... So I don't get that. Okay. I'm going to... One more. Corner it. I get a rattle. Uh, it's a rattle. Break. All right. So one, two, three, four, five. No, no, no. You did not... What? You moved an additional one because of cornering. You had to move back a spot. Oh, sorry. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Did he cross? He did. Yes. Yes. No! Oh! He was one rattle away. It was a rattle away. And so, it's all so, because of his special ability. So, if I took the and danger. I wanted to tell you this because I thought you'd get a kick out of it. When Peter asked if you could just leave your horse and run for it, uh, Grant responded, if they, cur if they could, I'm sure Anne would try to hop off and hijack another chariot. <laughs> he probably would. He knows us so well. So Josh was the last person to go that round, and he unfortunately was the only person to cross the finish line. So Josh is the winner. Congratulations, Josh. Second place? Uh, was me. Oh, no, technically, they get no. one more round. Yeah, I know, I know. Technically, we get another round. So let's see who right. is the first loser, Anne. All right. So, <laughs> so we, we need, need a fake die, die to be rolled. A fake die is coming from chat. Just so you know, a race is typically two laps because that's a good play time. So I don't think that Anne can technically win. No, I don't think I can either. Never mind, we're not playing the next round. I won! <laughs> um, yes! 
That is unless not... you did something really. If you really... could screenshot that, if, so unless she suspicious... attacked you and beat the hell out of you, yeah, right. somehow. I don't think it would happen in the game or in real life. In real life. <laughs> oh, I go first. <laughs> And look, now you guys are on the board. <laughs> okay, so thank you all for joining us this evening. Uh, this is going to be the end of our spotlight session. Uh, Chuck Allen. Well, yeah, I'm just saying this is going to be the end of the spotlight session. Yeah, this session is the end here. of the gameplay right here. So the end of our first game. So, Anne, do you want to ask some questions for Alan? <laughs> See, Peter says I won. I won. <laughs> and thank you everyone for the follows. <laughs> thank you guys so much for following. Absolutely. Do we want to do a soft close? Uh, let's We're going to chit-chat with Alan for a little bit first. Sounds good to me. All right, Alan, I want to know what started this game. I guess it's you and who else helped develop the game? Well, Sean Young is the designer. And uh, this game has been evolving in development for a while. Uh, we kept pushing it back to the designer saying, make it simpler, make it faster. And uh, we, I think we've really hit a good spot. I mean, it's done a, a huge learning curve for this game, and it's always the next player's turn. I mean, boom. Until you got to that last corner and you really started studying how you could win. <laughs> like, yeah, but, uh, but yeah, Sean did a great job. So uh, Sean is also in chat. Um, Sean, if you don't mind answering some questions through text, we'd love to hear your input on these, on these questions as well. Um, I know it might take a little bit longer, so if you have the, if you have the patience, we'd love to hear from you. So I know my other favorite Victory Point games game also kind of has that Greco-Roman feel, and that's Twilight of the Gods, which if you haven't backed that game, you can't anymore, and that sucks for you because I'm getting one and you're not. <laughs> that's on the presses right now. I'm so excited. Oh, goodness, Anne. Well, um... What what brought about the Greco-Roman... Uh, one thing that I really loved about Twilight of the Gods was all the research that was put into the various pantheon gods and how the theme so uh, tightly intertwined... was so, twi so tightly intertwined in with the game. Uh, what made you decide to do another Greco-Roman game and I mean again you guys put so much research into actual history and really implemented it in with the game what inspired you to actually take that extra step and go in with um, the interview and, and again Alan the question is both for you as well as Sean well for me the, the games came from two different directions and they just happened to both be ancient games uh, but <clears throat> I'm a history guy I mean, I'm a history teacher, and when we make a game about history, that's what it is, a game first about history, but we don't short shrift the history. We get as much in there as the game will hold and still be fun and playable. So that's just a philosophy of ours. I think that's great. Sean mentioned that he always liked Circus Maximus, but he thought it was too slow. <laughs> it is. Lots of charts and tables. Very cool. So that's kind of what, so is Circus Maximus what inspired this game? Was this another situation where you're looking at one game and thinking, hmm, I can really do that better? Well, that's why we kept telling Sean, make it simpler, make it faster, make it more fun. Let's get some noise at the table. Come on. This pondering cherry racing game just didn't seem to go right. And so the game evolved into what he has now. And what he has now can get pretty loud at the table, which I like. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's really great. I mean, you have the player interaction with the attacks, and that I think that's the most, um, the, what I'm the most ramped up. I want to see other people get hit. I want to attack other people. And you're really ramped up, and then you're, I mean, the game is about a race, and that's all very exciting when you're thinking about running or going fast. I want to go fast. It's like Mario Kart with hit points, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what I mentioned about the debris. Matt corrected me, and it was like, "Oh, it's like it's like the banana." Matt corrected me and said, "Oh, it's like a banana peel that you're dropping on the track." Yeah. 
So this game is definitely going to the publishers, and you were mentioning that if you were a Kickstarter backer and the game did not fund, then maybe you guys might consider putting some effort into finding the Kickstarter backers to make sure they get those those copies, which really right. makes backing the Kickstarter. First of all, Victory Point Games, you guys have been around for quite some time. You're very established. You know that if you're backing a Victory Points game, game, it'll likely fund. There's very little risk. But the fact that, you know, you guys are saying, hey, we're, we'll search you out, you really don't have much of the Kickstarter risk of a non-funded campaign for getting this awesome game. Yeah, we, well, we need the Kickstarter funding so we can print up enough, not just for people interested in it now, but so we can be on store shelves and meet a new audience. This game teaches easily and it's the kind of game that two or three people in your club or group or at a conventional pick up just because it'll spread. It, it plays well on tables and gets real loud. In fact, we found this is a good game for introducing your, you know, teenage nephew or niece or whatever to. They really enjoy doing things they don't get to do at school where there's like a zero tolerance policy. Now they can get the whip and the ram. So go for it. Awesome. Where was the idea? Of, I love, really like the idea of the multiple drivers. Um, are these Orions and what are you doing? Zephyrus. Uh, the names obviously sound very Roman. Are these real names pulled from somewhere? Or is this just kind of, oh, this sounds like a good Roman name? Uh, Sean mentioned that those names were from actual races. And curses, they would name the driver they were cursing. And history has reported that that was the driver's name. That's awesome. It's very, very cool. So, so first up, now, here, I want to point out that Sean said that the game is playable up to 12 people, uh, players right, with the stretch goals. Stuff. And then on top of that, too, he said before that there was a couple of games that inspired him for that. I don't know if you clipped that or a not. A couple of different games inspired this, mostly CM, Circus, and Mir and Miriam. Um, and other racing games like Formula D and Speed Circuit. Okay, so he pulled a lot of influence from across the board on And Sean says the names were all taken from some of the cursed tablets and such. That's, That's so cool. Very cool. Well, well, one of the stretch goals that will come up in the Kickstarter, and another good reason to fund it, is there's three more tracks besides Ooh. the Circus Maxis that we want you to have. And we have been Cherry racing, play testing on all of those tracks, and they're a gas. You're, you're going to want to hit those stretch goals and get that additional mounted board and get those new tracks. Are they different shapes? Are we? Is it yes. still the same? There we go. So it's not what? just the, the NASCAR go fast, turn left. <laughs> uh, well, left. Well, one is uh, Talladegas, which is the three quarter, you know, Latin track, go fast and turn left. I like it. And uh, the other is Daytonas, <laughs> uh, which has got some interesting terrain features on the track. And then there's a, um, a provincial track, which is like the Circus Maximus, except it's small. So you can really run a, a, a fast, short race, you know. A lot it's of the really... cornering tactics. Yeah. Yeah, every move pretty much takes you to the next corner or through it. So it's it's brutal tactics all the time. Yeah, I could imagine with you keep having to regain the tactics points from going slower, you're going to be uh, beating the crap out of everyone else a little bit more in those races. Let's look at some of the other chariot <laughs> racers. They, Some of them are nasty. Oh, really? Like, double attacks and one of them is free. Ooh. Like, if you're next to someone on the beginning of your turn, you get to whip them for free. And, like, just <laughs> like... Those are nice ones. <laughs> well, you got to position yourself just... <laughs> My people... I love you! <laughs> Excellent ass to one because he was away from the keyboard, so obviously Chad is letting them know that I won. It's okay, guys. And there's be also next more time. drivers and stuff. In the we'll better next time. <laughs> uh, I also want to point out that Victory Point Games has already tweeted, the race is over and Anne wins, according to Anne. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it is Twitter official. I'm just letting you know. Oh, boy. <laughs> I guess the winners write history after all. <laughs> the artwork, Sean mentioned, I again wanted to point out, and Alan, you mentioned earlier in the stream that the artwork, which it is, it's absolutely beautiful. 
I have a bit of an equestrian background, so I love games with horses. Uh, and I like seeing, I mean, I like seeing the horses with the big, thick horse necks. Like, they're great. It, the artwork's great. Can you tell us a little bit about the artist and the yeah. artwork? Yeah, the artist is an, another former student of mine. It's uh, Chelsea Octio, and she's uh, clearly really good. Yeah. She yeah. is a very careful, meticulous uh, illustrator of, of life like you see in Circus Maximus. In fact, we consider doing this in Mosaic, but you know, the, the realistic and the perspective is really quite good. I was she just in our Healthy Heart Hospital. I was just about to comment on that because the <clears throat> the icons for the horses are done in that mosaic pattern. I mean, they are very realistic, and I, having been somebody who rode horses, I'm looking at the bridle and I see the various straps that are correct. It's not that typical cartoony kind of the bridle oh. around one. I can see where the chin strap is. I can yep. see where it comes to the reins. So it's still got the mosaic, but it's very realistic. Her mosaic tiles are so small that the detail's not lost. Remember I said we put the history in the game. We make a game, but all the history we can get in there, we do. Chelsea is a researcher, and she will find the history and put it in the game art. I, I think that's great. I'm a giant history nerd. I love learning about history. So I, Herodotus is one of my favorites. I mean, it's Greek, but I, I love I love listening to the stuff. I love seeing the stuff. I love seeing the stuff in the art. Well, here's a little trivia for all you, you know, Circus Maximus Colosseum attendees. The food they ate more than any other was the hot dog. Now you're gonna say, oh, come on, they didn't invent the hot dog, no. Well, what would you call going to the little food carts outside the, the stadium and buying a sausage and having it wrapped in a roll? And that's what you took inside and you ate. They ate the Roman hot dog. I would, I would call that delicious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sean mentioned too that he was looking to have the mosaic look for the drivers. Uh, but it did get too small for the images. And, and I can see that, you know, the horse icons are just from the neck up, but you've got the drivers have so much detail. And each of the driver cards are different. Uh, one of the things we talk about liking a lot on the games that are like flavor text. And for each of the drivers to kind of have their own personalities and again, mechanics that match the personalities. Yep. Um, is that really was a lot cool. of fun to play test, by the way. Oh, I can imagine. I could imagine. So I want to know, for you guys, Sean and Alan, which are your favorite drivers? That's I'm kind of partial to the Emperor's favorite, who's a late stretch goal in the Kickstarter, so I don't want to give too much away. But his okay. name is And uh, people stay away from him because he's the Emperor's favorite. I'm, I'm sensing some underhanded tactics there, if he's the Emperor's <laughs> favorite. <laughs> Yeah, you're, you're scared to get near this guy. Very cool. Yeah, we have a couple of Kickstarter exclusive ones here. But I don't see that one. You're not, you're not lucky enough. It was a late entry into the race. I'm sorry, uh, Alan, what was the name of that one again? T-E-R-R-O-R-U-X. Oh. Josh, Josh, no Josh just can't sorry. read. We, can't don't, read. we don't have a picture for it, though, so he's invisible here for us. Correct. We got the artwork for him last. Ah. So it means it's going to be extra special artwork. Oh. Well, it's done. I oh. mean, the, unlock the stretch goal and boom, you got it. Woo! Awesome. Chat, keep in mind that we can see your questions um, too. So if you have any questions for Alan or Sean, make sure that you're shouting them out so that we can ask them and get them answered for you. If you have any questions about the Kickstarter, about the game, about game design, about other games that they've put out, any questions, your little heart desires, by all means. Yeah, thank you for mentioning our last Kickstarter, which was Twilight of the Gods. My and our next Kickstarter will be Renegade by uh, Ricky Royal. What is it's, that? Uh, oh, that, that, that's a solo to co-op four-player cyber hacking game. You know, the, the dark future where the computer mother runs everybody and you need to strike a blow for freedom in this dystopian future. Mm. And it's, it's a really multi-layered strategy. Not hard to learn, but boy... You know, hard to pick up this, the tools and skills to play it optimally to defeat that computer. So as a solitaire game, you know, there's a, there's a lot of meat in it. 
we love solitaire games. Sean mentioned that his favorite driver was Marcellus. So yeah, this is a, a pretty solid one. The card cam's not up, but it's uh, whenever you go through a cornering stack, if you have one or two uh, rattled, uh, you get one fewer action card. But if you have more than, if you have three or more rattled, you draw two less action cards. Ooh. So yeah, he's that looks like a fun one to play as. You kind of recklessly go through the turns there. That's right. Got to point. That's super cool. Guys, do you have any questions? And I think you covered everything I was going to ask for sure. I stole them all from you. You do that all the time. It's okay. Mine too. We should you mentioned it. the rule book. I'm, I'm glad that we did the rule book right. That was really important because the alpha gamer who learns a multiplayer game and teaches it to the group really wants to get it right. And so we tried to illustrate it. There's a long example of play in the back so you can see how the systems and mechanics interact. It was really important for us to get that right. It sounds like we didn't butcher him too bad on our first playthrough, too. Uh, everything picked up relatively quickly, so that, that shows. And that's the sign of a good game, is that you can play it wrong and still have a great time. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what we mentioned, was that with board games, the rules are flat malleable. Malleable, that's malleable. the word. That... So the, um, the estimated delivery date on the Kickstarter is November of this year? Yeah, we're pretty confident. Like I said, it's going to the printer somewhere around the end of the month, beginning of next month. So it's it's on track and whoosh. So you're really hitting the ground running on this. Yes. Sean also mentioned that he really liked uh, Argus because he's the cruel lash. When you make a whip attack. Oh my goodness, is he popular here at BPG? <laughs> Uh, when you make a whip attack from the three action cards your target suffers, he must redraw the first no effect result revealed and apply it. To I want to play as him. That's Ooh. great. That's... Have you considered a version of this game where it's possible for Anne to lose? Why that that doesn't sound logical at all? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? <laughs> um, Alan, is Victory Point Games going to be at Origins this year? Origins, I. Don't think so. I know we're planning to be at Gen Con, okay. where we hope to partner up with a, a booth. We couldn't get one. We were in the lottery. Didn't get a booth. But we have demo tables. And uh, with double exposure, I know we're going to be showing Twilight of the Gods. That should be re released at Gen Con. And hopefully, if we don't have this for sale, we'll have a you know a rush copy from the printer to what we show and tell. And uh, some other games, Nemo's War, uh, maybe Darkest Night. So, yeah. Awesome. So, uh, kind of a maybe naive question. Is this Sean's first game? That he's ever played. <laughs> <laughs> the only game he's ever played is a game. This is the only game he's ever played. That's, that's impressive. impressive. That's very <laughs> impressive. No, we uh, we published his game Parsec, which is kind of like Settlers of Catan in space. Ooh. Uh, and uh, and he's gotten a few other submissions. I. Some of his stuff is, is pretty darn cool, but you know, when you publish games, you get a lot more submissions than you can ever develop and publish, and that's heartbreaking. I can I can appreciate that, Al. You do so much outside of um, running Victory Point games. You also teach uh, game design. I think we were talking about a BGG. Uh, so you're you're running this publishing company. You're teaching game design outside of that. What made you decide that? Because you don't jump in on the design for all of your games. What was it about this game that made you want to jump in and and help with the and contribute to the design? I'm I'm not a natural designer. I'm a I'm a developer. I tighten rules. I play test things. I suggest tweaks to systems and mechanics to help find the, the perfect balance or feel. Um, you know, I put the, the right graphic on so you get the data in the correct order. It's, that's what I like to do. And no, I can't do that for every game. I wish I could. But I picked Chariots of Rome because, hell, I heard them out there in the other room play testing whooping and hollering and having a great time and it's like, well, I want to be involved in that. Awesome. Awesome. I am very I'm very excited to play this game again. I like it. I like so, it. Andy, you guys you have, have a great any more job. questions? 
Yeah, and like I said, chariots teach as well. Once you know how to play, I mean, if you can rope other people to, to try it, they'll be driving down the track in no time. Yeah. No, it was... And after they, they make their first whip attack, they're feeling pretty confident. <laughs> yeah, no, I think that the game was... It, it played rather simply. After I started to get into, into emotion... Um, um, Alan, is there anything else you'd like to mention that maybe we didn't think to ask? Oh my god, I'm speechless. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell my students, they'll, they won't believe me. <laughs> uh, that just means we did so a good I job. Think, I think it covered everything. It's like like every game, it's, it's a new dance, and once you learn the steps, then you start to really boogie. This one doesn't have very many or complicated steps, so you're boogie and pretty quick in, in Chariots of Rome, and you noticed how quick you went from learners to planners to diabolical strategists, all in two laps. I noticed. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we, we are pretty quick to turn that route, but uh, <laughs> it, was, it was an easy transition for us in this game, for sure. So I think this is the point in the stream where we're going to do a soft closing, meaning we're going to end the video, video recording for YouTube purposes. We're going to say goodnight to you, Alan, and we're going to uh, do a soft sign on again and do an honest review. And the reason for that is the guys are, are nervous about saying what they think, knowing you're staring back at them. So. No problem. I can, I can handle an honest review. I've been an honest reviewer myself since the 70s. Alan, we really, really appreciate you and Sean taking the time uh, to come and join us for the stream tonight. And Grant. Oh, yes, and Grant. <laughs> In and out, Burger. Let's go. Um, <laughs> group to hang out with. Anytime you want to invite me back, I'll, I'll be there. This oh, is great. Awesome. Fantastic. It was such a pleasure for us to have you guys on here to with us. <laughs> All right. Sure. Thank you so much again, and have a great night. Okay, so Alan fading out. <laughs> thank you everyone for joining us this evening. This is our soft sign off for our spotlight session of Chariots of Rome by Victory Point Games. We'll be back in one second with our honest review section. But for now, this is Twist Gaming signing off. I'm Matt. I'm Ann. I'm Josh. And I'm Twitch Proxy. Have a good night. See you all in a minute.